<clears throat> Good morning, everybody. Oh, ho, ho, we're back. Well, I guess it's not really morning anymore. 11.15 here in uh, Oklahoma. I guess some people might consider that morning. I don't know if you do or not. What is up? How are we doing today, guys? I, it's, uh, I was going to do a live stream this morning. Went over to Brian Jung's channel to uh, chat with him and a couple other people. I met uh, I met a guy named Humphrey and Bruce. Just talked about uh, AMC, some other stuff. And we are going to get to the meat and potatoes today. The stuff that I love talking about. I had a great time. But I am real happy to be back here on the channel with the community. Welcome to everybody who's new. Uh, we do technical analysis and stuff. It's pretty fun. <laughs> uh, if you would not mind dropping a like, that's all I'd ask. You know, don't do it for me. Do it because apes together. Together, you know, apes together strong. We like this stock. That's all I'm talking about, my friends. All right. So if you are new to the live streams, what we do here is we give live price action on AMC, GameStop. We do ticker recommendations and suggestions. Uh, if you want me to cover a ticker, of course, we do try to stick to AMC and GameStop. That is my primary focus. But if you do have a pressing question, we will talk about it as such. Blackberry. Holy Toledo. She is going right now. <laughs> Ooh, looking clean. Why did this happen? Why did BlackBerry take off? Well, this is the technical analysis aspect that I have to offer. Why I think BlackBerry is taking off right now is it broke this really harsh downward channel. And what happens, look at this. Look at this, guys. This is insane. She is really, really running right now. So we've got this downward channel that broke. It broke out of this downward selling pressure. And if we look here at some candle wicks, I'm very interested, very interested to see how this would look on a five-minute chart. And if we look here at the significant levels, so this is pretty significant, guys. It looks like we did break over a pretty huge bump right here. Oh, yeah. That's a wide-range candle bar. We got some really heavy price action moving right now on, on BlackBerry. It looks good. These are wide-range candle bars, these huge price action-covered uh, green candles. That indicates a lot of strong buying pressure. RSI extremely high right now. Volume is really starting to pump. 717,000 in one minute. Very high. The, the bid side of things is really moving right now. Guys, this looks this looks real promising. I feel good about what's happening with BlackBerry. What is my Twitter? My Twitter. I will pull it up right now for anybody. Uh, I do tweet actually quite a bit for anybody that is interested in my page. It is uh, it's very easy to find. It is simply Trey's Trades. Uh, so I'll pull up here to the top. Give you the handle. It is uh, at Trades Trey. And that's where you'll find me. I uh, I do post stuff in here all the time. Some of it's funny. Some of it's uh some of it's just joking around. Some of it is uh irrelevant information. If you decide to follow it, that's cool. If not, uh, that's cool too. I promise you, I don't really care that much. <laughs> I'm just glad to be doing these live streams with you, my friends. Zach Baker, thank you for the donation, the super chat, my friend, as well as Zenix. I appreciate you guys very much. Covering ACB, I will take a quick peek at ACB. Aurora Cannabis. So we'll take a peek at this stock real quick, and just take a look at how things are going right now. So on the one month chart, we do have a pretty significant thing that just happened. We broke over a huge level of uh, of resistance right here. And if we actually move this to the top of these wicks, yeah, man. So that looks good. <laughs> actually, I went on a live stream with uh, with Ice Poseidon. I was just chatting with him about stocks. And I said, yeah, man, a lot, apparently. And everyone was like commenting, yeah, man, in the comment section like a million times. I got a kick out of it. Um, but yeah, man, as, as I said, we broke through the support level of the wide range candle bar and it looks really promising right now. So what are we looking at on the one month chart? Well, we are in a nice upward moving channel. We did break out of this uh, downward moving channel, which looks very promising. You know, if we if we connect the lines here, broke out of that in a nice upward moving channel right now, we can connect the lines here. And actually, we broke above this. You can think of this as a level of resistance. And once we broke through that level of resistance, this ascending level of resistance, this channel, it, uh, it pumped hard. And you can see also, right, we've got this level of re uh, resistance right here. And then this is now acting as a level of support. As you can see by these candle wicks, we, we tightened up and we pushed above that level of uh, resistance running real hard right now. So what's a good entry point? Well, I wouldn't chase this right now. It's a, it's a pretty hard chase. I'd wait for a pullback. And a good strong stock pullback, you're looking at, you know, 50%. But uh, if we look at this previous one, you know, we do see that the trend does uh, tend to be pretty harsh. We gave back 100% this last time. So I would watch. I'd watch very closely. And once you see a hard bounce, uh, then I would consider getting in. And what do, I need, what do I mean by hard bounce? Something like this. You see this right here. A huge wide range candle bar on the one hour time frame. At that point, I feel pretty comfortable with you getting into the stock. But right now, uh, it's it's a chase. Be very careful. If you're going to get into it now, do it as a day trade and just watch really closely. 
All right, Zinix, hope you're doing, hope you're well, bro. I am doing well. DM me if you need YouTube help. I'll keep that in mind, man. And I know you've got a huge channel. I've checked it out before. I, I think I watched one of your your uh, Red Dead Redemption <laughs> uh, fail videos. I, I I got a crack out of it. It was pretty funny. I'm gonna come back here to AMC real quick. Oh, it looks like she's doing something too. <laughs> we love to see it. We love to see it, guys. Man, all right. Let's see. It looks like we are up nine percent on the day, and we did. Look to break. It looks like we broke. We're going to see if this is a false break or not, but that's a nice wide range candle. So we're looking for a follow through with another wide range green candle bar. And that will signify that we ran. Check Noke out. It's a running. Noke is running. Thank you, by the way, Brett. Hope your wife is doing well. I, I know I always say that. So one thing that I want to show you guys that's really interesting about Noke and BB is they tend to run at the exact same time. So check this out. Noke, I'm going to pull this up real quick. And BB, their price action is nearly identical. It's insane. Look at this. Doesn't that look familiar to you? I mean, the pullback on Noke was definitely harsher, but it's the same chart setup, guys. That is nuts. That's all That's all that I need to say to tell you there's some crazy stuff happening right now in the market as far as uh, legality. But it is running. It looks clean, guys. I, I like that a lot. I'm going to zoom out here just so I can get a, a better uh, whole scale picture of what's happening with Nokia. But essentially what it looks like is we had the George W. So I actually looked at this on Brian Jung's live stream. And what we have here is an inverse head and shoulders. So we've got the head, shoulder, shoulder, neckline. We broke above that neckline and it was off to the races. So that looks real, real clean. We had a false break above this level of resistance, but I don't feel bad about this at all. If I had to guess where this is gonna, we're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna level off if it does continue to bleed a little bit, 50%. 463, I bet is gonna be the bottom here. I feel pretty good about it. All right, gonna check out quick. Uh, Cameron Sigler, thank you for the, the super chat, my friend. Fellow vet, MPs lead the way. AMC predictions on closing price. Predictions for tomorrow following re removal of SSR. First off, thank you for your service, my friend. I do appreciate that a lot. It is great to talk to a fellow brother. Uh, it's, it's very tough to say. It's going to depend a lot on how much the stock runs up, right? So if we see an end-of-day price on AMC, somewhere around $10, $11, $12, $12, which I don't think is out of, the, out of the question here. I mean, in the pre-market, we touched up at $9.09. .09. So I don't think it's out of the question. And we just need to see a break over this level right here. So we had a head and shoulders pattern, a little bit of a bleed, nice bounce off this ascending level of support, coming back up, retesting. And we need to just push through. We need a wide range candle bar. And uh, if we do see that, I think $10, $11 at the end of the day, very realistic. And then from there, uh, it's going to set us up better for the future so that we can we can prevent the shorts from continuing to, to ladder us down uh, because eventually they're going to have to cover. That's my That's my prediction. Jimmy, thank you for the donation, my friend. Only got into MVIS because of you, and $10 is the least I could give you. Yeah, man. Dude, I knew MVIS was going to run today. I called it. I so called it. <laughs> I'm so pumped. If people got into this, I don't know if you guys got the opportunity to check out my MVIS video this morning, but uh, I put out a, a video on MVIS, and I'm so, so pumped because this is my girl, man. I love MVIS. This is my stock. This is the stock that gets me up in the morning. Mavis, I love my girlfriend to death. Mavis, very close second. Very, very close second. So we're going to come over here to the channel and just show you guys. I did put out a video on MVIS this morning, uh, six hours ago, saying, hey, this is going to run up. And uh, sure enough, we, we are seeing an insane run up, up 21% today. And it's interesting because um, they actually had a huge stake taken in the company. They do have a nice 1 million share stake uh, in the company now. And I think it's by Michigan something. I covered it in my video, but I don't remember the exact name. So let's look up. MVIS, 1 million uh, stock, and it should pop up. I'm willing to bet you. Thinking about buying an AMC? No, that's not it. Uh, do, 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 do. 1 million stock. I think it was Michigan something. Michigan, 1 million. Well, yeah, well, what you, what you need to know is there was a 1 million share buy-in, and that, that probably influenced the price here, so I feel pretty good about it. Kloku, thank you so much for the super chat, my friend. Check out Asana real quick. Pretty please. You don't even need to see. You don't even need to say pretty please. I'll just do it for you, my friend. We're cooking with Crisco. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate you very, very much. It means a lot to me. Check us out on the one month chart. Um, it had a pretty hard pullback, a long pullback. This honestly reminds me a lot of uh, when Microvision saw a down down swing for a while, but it bounced off at fifty percent, and that typically shows a lot of strength in buyers. So if you're looking to get into this and hold for a while, I don't see an issue with buying in right now. Uh, I do anticipate you're going to see a retest of $40.25, consistent volume. Maybe just wait for a small pullback. I would say 
Uh, likely a good area to buy in at would be somewhere around here. Got a couple different candlewick touches. About 36.92. If you wait for a pullback to there, I think you're going to do pretty well. That is the best that I have to offer you, my friend. Hope that I hope that helps your, uh, your question out. Gibson, thank you for the donation as well. I have to ask how you think the hedge funds doubling down on their short position yesterday will affect the day the squeeze could happen. I have that information ready, readily available for you now. So let's pull it up. If we look at, uh, we're going to pull up AMC here on, on uh, Ortex. And Ortex is a great resource because essentially what it does is it provides the most relevant information regarding uh, different different statistics on a stock. So AMC, for instance, you know, I don't have, they don't have the, the most up-to-date short volume on AMC. So we use Fintel for that, but they do have other great information. So we're going to show you the overall short interest currently in AMC first. And what we have here is a total, if I remember right, about 120 million in volume. So once this loads, yep, 120 million in short volume, 26% short volume ratio compared to the total market volume on the 2nd of February, which is higher. We saw them double down. That is, uh, that's almost two times as high as we previously saw. And we have total here, the utilization, which is 85.83%, uh, meaning that, uh, I'll just pull this up. They're going to be able to describe it better than I can. But essentially, utilization is the amount of lendable shares for shorting. 0% means that no shares have been borrowed or lent. 100% means that all shares available to borrow have or lend at a lending program have, in fact, been lent. So essentially, we have a lot of utilization. This is not including the naked shorting happening right now, right? This doesn't include shares that, that are counterfeit that they can't account for because it's illegal. So that tells you everything you know, guys. It's, uh, it's, it's extremely high in short percentage. And what that means, since they are doubling down right now, and we're close to where they're doubling down, is the days to cover on loan is low. And typically, if the days to cover on loan is low, this means that it takes less time for the shorts to cover their positions. So it means that typically you're closer to their overall buy-in price, which makes sense because AMC has been getting absolutely schwacked for a little while now. Uh, so we're going to come back here. And I anticipate that if this if this pushes over you know, 12, 13, 14 bucks again, that days to cover is going to start really inching up. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised in the least bit to see that, that days to cover go up. And that's a good thing. Days to cover being high means that they have, they have to take more time to cover their positions and they can get out, right? They can get out at any time they want, but to break even, that's the anticipated days to cover. That's what that, that's what that means. So hope that answers your question, my friend. SSPK. Before I cover SSPK, I'm going to read off some of these uh, super chats. Thank you, Alberto, Sean, Corey. I appreciate you very much, my friend. Um, did it do Nicholas swim, Brett Hayes again. Appreciate that. Press Laurent, Mist Reigns, Ben Jones, Nguyen, Nelson, Ulias, Living RV Dream. Thank you so much. Oh, Giancarlo Ferrari. That reminds me of Guy Fieri. I don't know why. <laughs> Appreciate it so much, my friends. It means a lot to me. So we're going to answer, we're going to answer your question about SSPK in just a second. But I want to give a quick update on what's happening right now with AMC. We did break out of this, this descending level of resistance, this pennant formation, right? And that is a good thing. This, this could actually be considered kind of a bullish flag, but I would consider this more of a wedge. Uh, we did break out of that wedge. Uh, nice wide range candle bar. I'd like to see a, another candlestick like this right here to signify that we have, in fact, broken. But we're getting there. I did actually increase my position today in AMC to 386 here on... Uh, on Weeble, and I also have a position of about 150 on Fidelity, which is in the process of being transferred over here. I am not looking at selling yet, not anytime soon. The time to sell for this stock is going to be when the media stops covering the price action, when they stop covering the shorts, the hedge funds. That is going to tell you everything you need to know because when they have no purpose to cover this anymore, they just won't. They're not going to talk about how we lost money if we lost money or if we made money, right? They're trying to scare people, and that's why the media is covering it. So don't pay attention to WSB and when they tell you to stop. They're going to be the last people to tell you to stop. Not that I don't like what they're doing, right? I love what WSB is doing. But they're going to be the last people to tell you to stop. And when the media stops talking about it, that's when I'm done. So just want to get that out there because I know people have been asking. We are also in an upward moving channel right now. I noticed this right off the bat. That looks really nice and clean. And I'm not saying we're going to continue this, but that is some really nice current growth. Uh, looks very promising. Current uh, level of resistance we're looking to break is the top of this head and shoulders pattern. We are tiptoeing with it right now. So we are going to check out SSPK really quick. I see all you guys. I love the gorillas. The gorillas. Apes together strong, man. I love those memes. <laughs> those, are the, those are the greatest memes, dude. They're so good. Ape. 
Have you guys seen the Planet of the, the Apes trilogy? That's probably my favorite movie series of all time. I've seen them all front to back probably like 15 times. So good. So good. Way before this was a meme. Way before it was a meme. <laughs> so the retracement here was pretty harsh. It came down to 78.6%. So in terms of strength, not fantastic. Volume is consistent. Uh, this could be the beginning of a nice cup and handle formation though you might be seeing a smaller dip form and that would be a good indicator of some bullish run uh good entry point to be honest with you i'd wait a little bit i'd wait a little bit i think there's an opportunity that it may pull back down to 2132 uh and that's that seems like a safer entry if you're looking to hold this as a mid to long-term investment i don't know anything about sspk as a company but as the chart is set up i mean it does look like it's growing so we're gonna look at this on the three-month chart and yeah this is a good setup so i mean and macroscopically speaking, they do they do have continuous growth, so that looks very good. Uh, I would I would say you're fine. I, I'd just wait for a better opportunity to buy in, probably twenty one thirty eight. Maybe if you see a pullback to twenty eighty two, I like that a little bit more, but you might not get that opportunity. All right, Alna, thank you for the suggestion, Sean. I appreciate you, Alna, Alena, Elena. <laughs> All right, we're going to check this out and then give one more quick peek over at AMC real quick. Uh, looks looks very similar to when Noak and BB pumped and dumped. I'm going to be honest with you, but it is upswinging again. It looks very similar to the price action happening right now with uh, with BB and Noak. So I'm going to come back to LA, ALNA. Yeah, All right. So this is, this is starting to swing again. And so is Noak, right? So I think it's a pretty similar situation. But uh, Alna is definitely doing better. I would compare this more to Noak. It looks more like Noak's chart. But uh, this is definitely having a nice bounce. I like that a lot. Um, I think you're okay for now. I would continue to hold. This looks like a setup for a nice uh, nice swing. It looks like it might come back up. I am. I would not sweat if I was you, my friend. Hold it out. Hold the line. That's what's up. All right. Going to come back here to AMC and give back another update on where we were. We were previously waiting for a break over that level of resistance. And looking at the percentage that we are up for the day, I'm guessing we broke it. If I had to take a wild guess, I would say we broke it. And we are tiptoeing with it so hard right now, guys. Tiptoeing. Tiptoeing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, man. Looking good. Yeah, it's not looking bad whatsoever. Uh, nice upward channel still. Really flirting with that uh, that level of resistance. Volume is still pretty decent on the day. It is a little bit lower than we've seen in the past. We're not looking at a million per minute like we have previously but it does look like it's picking up compared to the rest of the day and we are getting a retest we're getting a test so we're, we have two candle wicks three candle wicks touching we need a hard push we need a wide range candle bar to push above this level of resistance or you're likely going to see a rejection 15 ma is trading significantly higher than the 200 ema right now rsi approaching over bot we really want to see that rsi go over 70 so we can get that next hard push over eight dollars and 73 cents Tiptoeing with it. We need that hard push. That is what we are waiting on. All right. Going to take a quick look at uh, CTRM for Corey Hanneman. I actually like CTRM. I did suggest this play to a couple of people. I uh, made some videos on it. I, I think they've got a lot of potential. They're a uh, seaborne transportation, basically. They, they, they transport uh, dry bulk cargo, that kind of stuff. A uh, bunch of different materials. And they're setting up real nice right now. So I, I made a video on it saying, hey, if they break out of this this uh, bullish flag formation, you'll likely see a push. And we have, in fact, saw that push. So if you got in when I told you to buy, pow, 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 you're doing good. You're crying. Oh, man, you're looking good. I'm telling you right now. I would continue to hold in CTRM. This could just be the beginning. Toughness micro pullback. But, guys, this is not a hard pullback. Does not look bad at all. We we only pulled back to 38.2%. That is some extreme strength in CTRM. And CTRM does have a high amount of short interest as well. So let's check this out really quick. We're going to look at CTRM, short interest. Take a quick peek. And it is 43 million, which is 28% of the total market volume in comparison. And uh, that is, it's, it's lower than we saw in the past. So we are seeing a little bit of a squeeze, right? Um, but that's still significantly high. That's that's not bad. I think CTRM is a good stock. I think you're likely to see a retest of a dollar within the next couple of days. Uh, that's my personal opinion. I will continue to hold, my friend. All right, I'm, I'm going to try and keep up with these Super Chats as much as I can. So I'm going to scroll down. I know I'm missing some of you guys. I really do sincerely apologize. It's getting tough now that I have uh, more people watching the stream. I do appreciate everybody, by the way. If you would not mind, dropping a like because 
We like the stock and apes together. Strong, baby. That's all I ask. That is all that I ask. I'm going to come down here and read off everybody that has given me a super chat because I appreciate all of you so much. Mike, Pop Squash, Kuriakos. I'm sorry if I say anybody's name wrong. Ryan Hurd. I am a bot. Every day we are stronger. I will read everybody's as well. I'm going to come back to the top. Masaki, Chasten, David Z, Ralik, Mark. Sir speaks a lot. Alex A, thank you guys so much. It really does mean a lot to me. I appreciate the community here. It is my favorite part of doing YouTube, my friends. So we're going to come back here to AMC, and I'm going to start off with uh, with Mike Jacobson. Hey, Trey, want to check out Atos and short interest and chart. What's your thoughts? So we will check out Atos. Uh, we did see a price rejection, so we did not get that wide range candle bar on AMC for anybody wondering. I don't think this is a bad thing. I think you're likely going to see a uh, a hold right around here. If I had to take a guess, maybe a recess of 859. Looking for a bounce there, but I will take a quick peek at Atos. So pulling up Atos, this is Atosa Therapeutics. Uh, I actually firmly like this company. I like it a lot. I, I don't think it can do bad here, regardless of a squeeze, right? So if you look at them on a three month chart, I think they've seen some pretty significant growth. Yeah. So I mean, we didn't see a drop off right here, but they are on a nice upward channel right now, my friends. It looks dirty, real dirty. And I will pull up the short interest because you did ask about that. So ATOS short interest, just a quick peek here. I don't need two T's. There we go. So ATOS short interest. We will take a quick peek. Close out some of these tabs. Looking at 26 million total short volume, which is high. 34% of the total market volume. That is a lot. And it could be contributing to the movement we're seeing in the stock. Oh, yeah. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you should be so pumped, man. You should be so pumped. That is disgusting filthy. 26 million in short volume. That is, uh, I can't do math, but that's five times as high as the previous day's short volume. <laughs> I like that. That's dirty. You're looking good, my friend. You look real, real filthy right now. I expect a hard push here very soon. That was a bad bet. Oh, I would not have bet against Atos right now. That is not a good decision. I don't understand it, guys. Why do people short against the grain? It's not a bad thing to short a stock. Shorting a stock when a stock is bearish makes sense. It's a way to make money. Shorting Atos when it's been on a when it's been on a literal five day stretch of crushing that does not make sense at all. <laughs> that makes that makes zero sense. You're looking at breaking a level of resistance right around here, and if you do push through 330, you will likely see a retest very soon of 395. I think Atos is set up beautifully right now. You are doing you're doing real good, my friend. So that is how it looks for you, Mike Jacobson. Papa Squash, or not Papa Squash, <laughs> Pop Squash. Can you check out Ride or make a video on it, please? Kind of looks like a bull flag, but I'm not sure. I will take a quick peek at Ride. I think this is an electric vehicle company, isn't it? I think I have made a video on them in the past. Lordstown Motors. Yeah, so Lordstown. This uh, this is this is kind of a bullish flag formation. Yeah, it's very close. Very close. So it's not an exact science, right? Technical analysis is uh, a general generality. So you're looking for like patterns. And we do have a pattern here. We have a pattern of a descending level of uh, of resistance and an ascending level of support. And it always, I mean, this is kind of an asterisk, right? You have you have instances where things break, but it overall does look like it is forming a bullish flag. This is a bullish indicator. I like it. It's, it's stair-stepping. It is in an upward moving uh, channel. We're setting higher lows and higher highs. I, I like it. This looks bullish to me. Now is a good time I would wait maybe a day. It is a green day. It's up 5%. Wait for a pullback if you're looking to enter. That's my opinion. All right. Kuriakos, naked. To be honest with you, my friend, I think naked is a distraction. I think people are talking about naked, and I'm, I'm not trying to insult you at all. This is my personal opinion. Take it for what it is. I'm not a financial advisor. I do have to say that every day. But I think naked is being used as a way to kind of dilute what's happening with the rest of the situation here. So the volume is absolutely insane right now. I will say that. But uh, yeah, we'll just look at the chart. We'll, we'll, we'll give you a fair analysis. I don't want to... Uh, there's no hard feelings whatsoever. If you're out here making money, I am so happy for you, my friend. But we do have what appears to be the beginning of a bullish flag formation. So we're going to connect these touch points. And within the next couple of hours, maybe, maybe not even that long, I would say within the next 30 minutes, you should see a pretty hard push either above or below that trend line. Uh, and I would estimate that it's going to go up. Uh, the volume is dying down a little bit, but it is probably people waiting to buy until we see a hard push. And it does look like we're starting to get one right now. So I guess we'll see what happens, but it doesn't look bad, my friend. When or why will the shorts be forced 
to buy to buy back so you can't hold something forever right <laughs> uh if you i mean i suppose they could hold it for a year if they wanted but the interest rate is extremely high on these short positions that they hold so uh we're looking we're looking uh they're gonna have to cover soon that's just that's just how it is that's um as for when you know if they straight up just short a stock there's no way for us to know that but if they have options and options expire that is something that's predictable right so the options that expired last friday uh, that that was that's something that we can predict. We do know that they have to buy those back this week. Um, as for actual short positions, that's not as predictable. I wish I could give you a better answer, my friend, but I always want to be real, transparent, never BS you guys, and that is my take. Thank you again. I am a bot. Every day we are stronger. All right. Please shout out me and my bro, my, my coochie. God dang it. You guys God, why do you keep doing this? You guys suck. <laughs> I can't do. Oh man, 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 man. Sundial. Yes, I can take a look at Sundial. I did just go over naked, Chasten. So I'm not ignoring your your message. I hope that you were able to see that. Sundial. Sundial looks like it's bleeding today, but I will look at this on the one month chart in retrospect. I uh, did have a nice run up here in the in the uh, pre-market, which looks good. I did actually make a video about this, anticipating that you'd see a nice push here. Uh, and it looks good. It doesn't look bad at all. I would uh, wait for a pullback if you're looking for an entry because we have not found the bottom yet. Find a guess. Based on price action, you're going to be looking at uh, $1.19. I think that's where it's going to end. We've got one, two candle wicks touching here, a doji candle right in the middle there. Oh, yeah. I am guessing with pretty high uh, conviction, about a dollar twenty. That is my opinion. Uh, volume pretty decent. It is on a nice upward run right now, but uh, be careful. Be careful with Sundial. That's my that's my only uh, only concern. It is in a nice upward moving channel, but I don't know how long that hype's gonna last. So if you want to take profits, I would not not be mad whatsoever at you doing so. Uh, it's always good to secure the bag, unless you're an AMC, in which case. We just, uh, we consistently hold the bag. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, currently, my position in, in uh, AMC, I am down $118 unrealized profit loss. Currently have 386 total shares, market value of $3,350. And then in my Fidelity account, I do have another 150 shares. I did have more before. I've talked about this previously. But if you're new to the channel, I had a Fidelity account. And many brokerages claimed that they had to liquidate people's stocks because they did not have enough collateral to cover people for their losses. So my account got liquidized or liquidated, and I, I was out about uh, twenty-five to thirty thousand dollars between my positions in AMC, BB, and NOC. So I did previously have about a, uh, a twenty thousand dollar stake in this company, but I do now have about five grand, a little more than that, maybe five and a half, six. And I am not selling yet. I am continuing to hold strong with those diamond hands, baby. Diamond hands. That's what it's all about. All right. Tiptoeing. <laughs> you guys are laughing at that, uh, that, I, that. That I did that earlier. That's funny. I like it. AMC price target. It's so hard to give a price target, my friend. I feel like I'd really be doing you a disservice to say that I can give you an actual price target on this stock. What I can say is it is bullish right now. There's a lot of things pointing to the fact that we are a nice bullish run. And this is going to be a very significant level to push over, guys. So if we push over... This uh this level at 873. And we're testing it right now. That is gonna be a big push, and we might see some really heavy momentum moving forward. Guys, I'm telling you, we have we have an inverse head and shoulders pattern right here. I didn't even notice this. So here's a head, here's a shoulder, here's a shoulder, here's the neckline. <laughs> we are so set up right now. This is so set up. AFC is going to Pluto. We gotta get a contact with uh with with Elon Musk. Uh, you guys probably already saw this, but I'm going to show you real quick. Elon Musk is in charge of SpaceX. And uh, I retweeted this because I thought this was not, no, 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 uh, no shade whatsoever. I love Elon. I think he's an incredible guy. Does some cool things. But uh, Space.com space, uh, posted this. Went boom. Still a fantastic flight, but during the flip and burn, it seems one of the Raptor engines failed to fire. Stand by for updates. It absolutely uh, completely blew up. It did not, do, it did not do well at all. But uh, my response to that was uh, was this. This wouldn't have happened if Elon named the rocket AMC. I'm telling you. <laughs> bad joke, bad joke. But I think it's funny. I think it's funny. 
All right, going to get back to some of these comments right here. I appreciate everybody being here with the channel. Thank you for joining if this is your first time. Uh, I, I genuinely love talking with everybody. We are watching the live price action on AMC. Trying to get back to as many uh, questions as you guys have. I'll cover any tickers if we have some free time. I love doing so. Uh, I appreciate that. Eugenio Armenta, tell everyone to buy AMC at 1 p.m. Uh, if you would like to uh, buy AMC at 1 p.m., Feel free to do so. <laughs> um, yeah, everything about uh, about AMC right now looks bullish, my friend. So if you want to buy a stock that looks bullish, this looks bullish. That's what I'm going to say. Sir speaks a lot. Hold indefinitely or for profit? What's the goal? Great, great question. For me, profit is obviously the goal. We do want to make money with AMC. And I do think we are going to make money with AMC. There's a lot of things that point to the direction. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't mean to cut you off. This is just looking real, real filthy right now. Ho, ho, ho. Look at her go. The level twos look dirty. Oh, it's eating up walls, man. That's nice. We got to really push. There's some big walls at 885 and 888. So we're going to have to crush those. Those are going to be some big levels of resistance. I will draw those out right now. 885. Watch for 885. Does look like we're testing it, but we're going to have to push that pretty hard. Anyways, the goal for AMC is to you're gonna, you're gonna know when to get out of AMC once the media stops covering it because at that point you're gonna know that the hedge funds lost. They're gonna keep talking about this and they're gonna keep claiming that the hedge funds covered and they're gonna keep claiming that AMC is going to one dollar and they're gonna keep saying all this stuff up until they're out because to be com to be completely blunt, right? The media and the hedge funds do not care uh, about anyone but their own money. So. Once their money's out of the game, right, and they're safe, they're fine, they're not going to talk about it anymore because they don't care what you guys are doing. <laughs> so once the media stops covering this, once you stop seeing these hit pieces come out, um, that's that's your indicator that the, that the game's over and AMC is done. But that is not the case, right? We see that this is not over right now. We know the numbers. We know the numbers with short interest. And I'll update you guys every single day. I, I will continue to do so. There's a lot happening right now. I've actually read something very interesting. Um... So short laddering essentially right, and I, I'm going to be very cautious. I'm not trying to start a coup. I don't want you guys to do as I say, say as I do. But short laddering essentially is when hedge funds buy and sell back and forth to each other, or sell and buy, I should say, back and forth to each other in a really re repetitive and algorithmic way in order to cheat the, the market maker system. And in a sense, it does seem that that is possible on the buying side of things too. So it'd be very interesting to see if uh, if that was if that's something that happened you know, across across, uh, you know, buyers, retail investors. Now, I'm not saying anybody should do that, right? Um, I'm just saying it's in it's interesting, right? I've seen people talk about it on Reddit. You know, I didn't do that today. I, I just straight up bought, you know, about $1,000 of shares this morning when it was, uh, I, I don't remember exactly what I bought it at. I suppose I could show you really quick. It does, I think, show my overall filled orders. And my filled orders, I did buy 127 at uh, 794 with my limit price, and it was filled at 792 so I'm pretty happy with that. I added my position. I can't complain. It's definitely got me a return on my investment now. And we are finally green, guys. Finally green on AMC. Finally green. Up $9. <laughs> Filthy gains, guys. Filthy gains. All right. Thank you, Alex, for the donation. Thank you, Mark. Brian, I appreciate you. What do you think the likelihood of everyone sending it to $100 limit order? Uh, I don't think that's very likely. I'm going to be honest with you, Mark. Everybody's in different financial situations, but man, she's going. <laughs> Look at her go, dude. This is insane. She's going nuts. AMC, our girl. AMC. Man, can you imagine being the, <laughs> the management of uh, AMC right now? I share this to my Twitter, and you guys are going to love this. Where's the AMC theaters and all this? You guys good? Or just sitting back watching the mess eating popcorn? <laughs> I'm telling you, this is the management of AMC right now. And yeah, that's the management. For sure. But AMC is going insane. It's going nuts. Look at these wide range candles, guys. Look at the volume. The volume's even picking up. Volume looks dirty. Volume looks filthy. Man, 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 man. We've got a nice wall right now. Uh, I, sh I suppose I shouldn't say nice, but there is a wall at 915. So we're looking to break 915. That is where we currently have the most orders at the ask side of things on the level twos. And we broke through it. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. You guys better be jumping up and down right now watching this price action. This is insane. Look at it go, guys. Look at it go. I really, really hope people out there didn't sell yesterday at the low point. I really tried my best to, to educate you and tell you there was 
There was some good things coming. It's so great that we have the SSR in place today. That is definitely helping things. The volume is picking up. The volume is picking up. I feel like I'm commentating on the Super Bowl right now. This is absolutely so fun to watch. Man, look at it go. Look at it go. Ho, ho, ho. 9.25, 9.26. Level 2 is right now looking nice and clean. We currently got a lot of asks at 9.30. So we're going to mark 9.30 as the next level of resistance. And we are seeing a little bit of price rejection now. Where might this pull back to? We're looking at a pullback potentially. 38 to 50% is the best mark of strength for AMC. So we're looking to hold over those two levels. Currently a lot of bids. We've got a lot of bids coming in. The most is uh, asking at 9.10, 9.12. So I think you're likely going to see a nice hold at 9.12, which we are currently seeing pretty well. I'm going to delete this Fibonacci really quick. Holding pretty well at 9.12. A lot of, uh, lot of buys coming in at 9.12, 9.13, 14, 15. Oh, yeah, guys. That was a micro pullback. Micro, micro pullback. Going to read some more comments. TKTK, man, thank you so much for the, the $50 donation. That means a lot, my friend. Fellow MN, bro, check out GME 126. Same breakout about to happen as AMC. Oh, man. I, well, now we have to. Now we have to. What is this? Why did that pull up? That's weird. All right, coming back. So GME. 126. We're going to pull this up on the one month chart right now. January 26th. Looking right here. Oh, yeah. Let's zoom in. That looks really similar. That looks really similar. Oh, man. Guys, we have to compare. We have to compare. We got to we gotta pull this up on a customized. So let's check this out. We're going to pull up uh, GME right next to AMC. And we're going to look at the exact setup before it took off. So let's look at this. 126. That would be right here. So look at this. If we look at this right now and just compare. Take a quick comparison on how this looks. Oh, yeah. That could be it. That could be it. I'm telling you, man. Thank you for the donation. I really do appreciate you, my friend. That means a lot to me. You are the man. Coming back to AMC, currently at $9.06. Not looking too bad. All right, Philip, Rick, thank you so much. Tim, Potato Monster, Pat, Matt Beck, Mike, Wimana, William, Sonny, Hotstock Plays, Richard, Corey, Jonathan, Richard, Adam. Oh, man, I, I'm trying to read everybody here. I'm trying to read everybody here. Let me get back up. I know I'm extremely behind. I'm trying to read everybody as much as I can. Uh, Adam, Gabe, Maria, Selexa, Suxella. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. CX, Sibsonian, Salty Shackles. Hair, Munchie, Mike Jacobson, Life Brook Style, BB, Pickle Me. <laughs> That's funny. Yunes Barakat, Antonio, Yunes Barakat, Gabe, Arthur Gallery, Ethan Mace, Salty, Steven, all you guys, Brandon MH. Thank you so much for the donations, my friends. I appreciate all of you immensely. It does mean a lot to me. Uh, I, I, I promise you, I am eternally grateful. William! <laughs> You are insane, brother. You don't have to do that. Oh, that is so appreciated. Thank you. Thank you so freaking much. That is insane. I, 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 I'm I, eternally grateful. Casey Masaki, thank you again. Wills Brown. All right. I am going to start from the bottom here just so I can keep up with everybody. I know there are people that made donations that I'm eternally grateful. It means a lot to me. Uh, but I'm going to try to stay up to date with the most relevant information here. That way I'm keeping up with uh, your guys' questions. So Will is asking about the level twos. The level twos tell you exactly the the orders coming in. So the bids are people buying. The, the asks are the people selling. Very easy to remember because the ask is red. And that, that's the color you associate with selling. The bids are green. So basically what we have right here is real-time analysis that can predict the future of where we see walls either as levels of resistance or support. And what we see right now, for instance, is there's a lot of a lot of buying at 896. Well, what does that mean? It means that at 896 should be a pretty solid level of support because once the stock hits 896, people will step back in and buy the price, buy, buy the share and push this price back up. On the flip side, we can see that 905 right now is a big wall. Because there's a lot of sell orders at 905, 9,000. So this is going to be a hard level to push through. It's a good way of predicting the future, in a sense, and where you may see some levels of resistance on the stock. Hope that answers your question, my friend. Thank you for the question. David, Devin Gearing, can you do an analysis on ATOS? I'd love to hear your opinion. Love the content. 
Thank you so much for the donation. I appreciate you, my friend. I did cover Atos earlier today. You might be new to the stream, so I'll briefly run through it again. I do like Atos a lot. I think it's a great company. I don't even think I pulled up the right thing. I did not. But we will pull up Atos for you, my friend. So, Atos. Atosa Therapeutics, they are looking real nice right now. So, if you look at them on a one-month chart, uh, it's a very heavily shorted stock. I think I did have it pulled up previously. I don't know if I do now. I do. How about that? So, People doubled down on their, their convictions here. In fact, they didn't double down. They uh they 5X their, their short volume. So as of February 2nd, there's an extreme, extreme amount of short volume on uh, Atos and Atos. And it is that's disgusting. So I think you could be very easily looking at a really nasty squeeze here very soon. It's uh it looks it looks like it could really run. And the setup right now is nasty. It's so nasty. We have a nice pullback right here. Came to 61.8%. You would have liked to see it hold 50. It tried to, uh, but it came back down. Bounced very fast. And now we are in a nice upward moving channel with Atos. That does not look bad whatsoever. I like that a lot. That is extremely, extremely bullish. And we did just have the 15MA cross over the 200 EMA right here. That's the blue line crossing over the purple line. And essentially what this means is you are seeing the microscopic price action uh, surpassed the macroscopic price action, meaning that uh, right now the the price action happening the last week, you know, the last two weeks, as it is a 15 day moving average, uh, is surpassing the price action on the last 200. So that usually indicates a breakout, and I do anticipate you are very likely to see that with Atos. Thank you so much, my friend. Elrac says everyone buy one AMC share at 1 p.m. You heard the man. You heard the man. Are we doing? Uh, are we doing 1 p.m. EST? That is a good question to have answered. That is coming from L Rock. That is not coming from me. I want to double down on that. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I have no intentions whatsoever of misleading anybody. You guys make your own financial decisions. But L, L Rock does say everyone buy one AMC share at 1 p.m. Coming straight from the word, uh, the, the, the mouth of the man himself. Next level mods. Thank you for the donation, my friend. I appreciate that very much. You as well, Theo, Jonathan, Maladin. That means a lot. Thanks for the positivity and helping me hold and buy through the dip scaries. AMC dollar, AMC $20 or bust. Guys, 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 guys. AMC, I don't know why it keeps pulling this up. That's weird. Anyways, AMC has a lot of potential to do that. I'm not kidding you. I would not be surprised in the least bit to see AMC, if this really squeezes down hard, hit somewhere around, um, <laughs> this is going to make me sound crazy, but I mean, we saw a squeeze from $3 to 25 So in retrospect, if we see the same thing happen again, you're, not, you're, not, you're looking at 80 bucks. You are because that's an 800% squeeze. From three dollars to twenty-five is about eight hundred percent, and if that happens again, you're looking at you know ten dollars to maybe eighty. That'd be insane. Now we don't live in a vacuum; it's not the exact same setup, right? But we do know if we look at the overall volume, the short volume right now on uh, on AMC, the short interest extremely high. It is high. It's higher than it was on February first. As of February second, this has not been updated today. This is information from yesterday. But as it sits right now, this is not looking bad. 120 million total short volume, 26% short volume ratio comparatively to the total market volume. Guys, think about this. Short volume of 120 million, that's only 26% of the, the short volume ratio. And look how much we tanked yesterday. That should tell you so much about what is happening right now. 26% short volume ratio on a tank that bad? Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. That's insane. Regardless, the squeeze potential is 100% there with AMC. I feel so good about where we're at right now, guys. Everything is looking beautiful. In fact, right as I'm looking at this, we are beginning what looks like a bullish flag formation. So we are consolidating a little bit. On the RSI, we did peak very high. We pushed on to 81, which is a very high level to be looking at. I'm going to connect as many candles as I can here, as many wicks as possible. And as it stands right now, it looks like this could be the beginning of of a little bit of a condensing and squeezing down of price action. A break above or below either of these trend lines should be pretty violent. All righty. Theo, this stream went from 1,000 viewers to 10,000 in less than a week. Fastest growing channel of 2021, I can assure you. Good call on Knack and Sense today. Man, I told you. <laughs> I think, oh, Theo, I'm so pumped. I'm so pumped. I think I called these both. I think I called Knack and Sense. Which is insane, man. <laughs> I still got it. I still got it. <laughs> I'll take it. I appreciate the love, brother. I appreciate the love. It means a lot to me. 
Jonathan, thank you again. Maladin, Trey, can you check Jamia? Is it good, in your opinion, for long-term investment? I think Chris Sane is really high on this play, isn't he? I think Chris Sane talks about Jamia a lot. Let me take a quick peek at Jamia uh, on the three-month chart. I'm going to look at the overall growth. I would say yes. I would say this is a great long-term. Jesus Christ. This is an $11 stock, guys. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. I see no reason to think otherwise. I mean, it's it's moving real clean right now, guys. That is a filthy, filthy setup. That is, that's as clean as it gets. I'd keep it running. Yeah. If you have a position in Jamia right now, I would continue to hold. If you're looking for a position, I would not get in yet. I'd wait for a little bit of a pullback. It's it's 61 on the RSI, so not crazy, but you can definitely get this at a better price. I would wait it out. All right, one EST. So two minutes, says Elrock. 1 p.m. EST. And actually... I want to be over here on AMC. This is not financial advice. This does not come from me. This is simply coming from the words of LROCK101. LROCK101 says at 1 p.m. CSEST, as I was, Eastern Standard Time to buy one share of AMC. We're going to come back here to AMC and watch this until 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That is very soon. We are looking at that in 40 seconds. Right now, we are currently retesting this level right here at 9.05. Looking at the level twos, we don't see a huge wall at 905. Not we have a lot of buys at $9, so I anticipate that $9 should be held pretty well. We're going to move up this level of support to $9 as it sits right now. Currently testing 908. Big wall at 910 as it sits and we did we pushed through it. it. Might have been a false break, we're going to see, but if we do push and hold above 910, it does look like there is a huge sell wall at 920. So we're going to move this down to 920 and that is going to be the next level we're watching to push. As it sits right now, we are five seconds away. Four, three, two, one. 1 p.m. EST as of right now. That's a nice little push. Woo! <laughs> Look at her go. Look at her go. Look at her go. Look at her go. Jeez, she's going. That is a that is a nasty, filthy candle right there. Oh man. I don't know about you guys. I don't know if you're if you're if you're a member of the, the Patreon, the Discord. I want to see. Everybody in there going absolutely nuts right now. I'm going to pull this up. You guys over the Discord, I want you to drop some freaking whiskey glasses. Let me see those in there if you're watching this chat right now. I want to see it in the AMC channel. In the AMC channel, drop some freaking whiskey glasses if you are watching this nasty price action. I've got it pulled up right now. I want to see it. I want to see it. Let's see this stuff. Bye, 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 bye. Man, people are going nuts in the chat. You guys are loving this. You guys are loving this right now. Oh, ho, ho. that's dirty. All right. Super Bowl commercial equals Lucid. Oh, yeah. EST, Biolace Analysis. Bio is a great company. Um, I'll check that out real quick for you. So Bio, I enjoy because uh, they, they, they're they a very niche market. So they have the laser systems. Uh, they've got water lace technology. And they do oral surgery using lasers, which is a very niche market. I think they can really capitalize on this. As it sits right now, they are holding really well on this ascending level of support. They're in an upward moving channel, as well as a descending uh, level of resistance. So this could squeeze down pretty hard here in the future. I would not be surprised to see that. Um, we'll, we'll have to see how it plays out. I, I think we likely broke that right here, uh, but it didn't pan. It didn't pan this time. But it doesn't look bad right now. I think you're still going to get in pretty well. If you buy in for anywhere around dollar seven, I think you're going to do pretty well. I still like bio. Still very high up on it. Can we talk about short interest in GME? I have a link, but it wouldn't let me paste it in the chat. And when brokers do a margin call, website is finra-markets.morningstar. I will check that out for you. Thank you for the donation, Kyle. I'm going to shout everybody else out here as well. Get to your comments as fast as I can. Jory, Tuin, your local meme officer, Seeking Justice, Marcos, Curtis, and Hanson. Thank you so much. I appreciate everybody here. It means a lot to me. So I'm going to pull this back up really quick. And this website is called finra dash Markets.morningstar. So you want me to look at GME on here? I've actually never used this website before, but I am going to pull it up. This is I'm glad you brought this to my attention. So as it sits right now, this was updated on February 3rd at 1247 p.m. It says. So this is pretty relevant information. Okay. So elaborate on. Short interest. Let's see if I can find that here. 226%. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I'm saving this website. Thank you so much for bringing this to my attention. Dang. 
Advantage favorites. This is going to be a favorited. Oh, I can do that right here. Add to favorites. Short interest bomb website. <laughs> You're the man. Yeah, so what this means is that's 220. If I had to guess, I'm not a financial advisor. It's not financial advice. But what I'm seeing right now, typically this is in percentages. And the short interest looks to be 226%. Let's check this out on AMC. Now I have to know. You can't show this to me and not expect me to look. I hope that's not right, but I guess we'd find out. If it's 38%, oh, actually, you know, 38% is still pretty high. That could be con what is contributing to the squeeze. Updated as of 12.48 p.m., it says. Uh, but GME is extremely, extremely high. To me, that indicates that more people are attacking GME right now. But I haven't looked at GME in a minute. I don't know if it's doing as well as uh, AMC is. Let's just look at the charts and the price action quick. So pull back up GameStop. GameStop is doing pretty well right now, but not rocketing quite as much as uh, AMC is. They're in the process, though. They're in the process. Looks pretty good. Gonna come back here to AMC quick. Oh, ho, ho, ho. look at it go. Go to. Let's do it, baby. We got a lot of buys. We got a lot of buys here. A bunch at 950. Bunch of 950. So we're gonna have a nice level of support at $9.50 right here. That looks dirty. That looks real, real dirty. Thank you, Jory, again. I appreciate you. Can you explain what's going on with Noak and why there's a huge volume of buys and sells and they're almost at a standstill? Thanks for your great content, sharing your videos. I appreciate that, my friend. We will get to your question as soon as we see a pullback here on AMC. We need to watch this live price action. This is absolutely insane, guys. We're watching the stock go insane. The volume is extremely high now. We've got a lot of volume pumping in. Volume looks great. We're looking at 1.6 million in this minute, 1.7 million. We could be looking at 927,000 here, 1.4 million. This looks like a pretty insane run up, guys. This is insane. This is really, really pushing. We've got a big wall at 982. That is going to be the next level. We might see some rejection. 982. We did see the rejection. So micro pullback. We got a lot of buys at 950. This is updating so fast. 955. 955 is where I saw a lot of buys. So I don't think we're going to break below that. That's currently where I'm seeing a lot of buys. We do see a candle wick touching right now. 977 is the new high of the day. Looking very solid. I'm going to come over here to the account. Currently up $217. 6% on uh, total unrealized profit or loss. Coming back here to the stock. We did break below that. A lot of buys at 950. A lot of buys at 950. We got a ton of buys at 950. And it looks like they were all pushed through. Ton of buys at 944. I'm not stressing this. This is this is a healthy pullback, so don't be don't be freaking out yet. Uh, we are looking for from the base of this run up right here, 38 to 50 percent is a healthy bounce. So if you see a bounce off of 934 or 921, that is pretty solid. Now I will come back here to Noak and what is going on? Why is Noak trading sideways with an extreme amount of volume? Well, let's just take a quick peek. The volume for the day is it's pretty decently high. How does it compare to usual though? Yeah, so the volume on Noak is still pretty low. In comparison to what we've seen in the past, the reason it's not as volatile is because we're not seeing as much daily volume, right? So volume drives volatility. Volatility is what's going to help help push the higher price valuations, the total volume on the stock. So without that, it's just not going to quite happen. Um, that's that's the issue that we're seeing right now. Um, but it will go up. I like Noak. Noak is a great, great company. Uh, I do think that it is worth holding if you are holding a bag. But that's just my personal opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. But I actually genuinely enjoy uh, Noak as a company. AMC is on SSR list, meaning short sellers can't ladder attack anymore. Elaborate on SSR. Great, great question. So SSR, the short sale rule, I will pull it for you right now as uh, it is much easier to just show you this uh, SSR rule. Basically, it is triggered when a stock goes down more than 10% from its prior close. SSR remains on for a stock for the rest of the trading day when it's triggered and remains on for the following trading day as well. The SEC made this rule to prevent short sellers causing a stock to tank. All it really does is make it difficult to short. And this does not mean that they can't short, right? It makes it difficult to short. So this tells you how you'll, you'll know if SSR is on. We do know that it is on for AMC. Uh, trading stocks with short rail restrictions. Now let's read this quick. Stocks with short sale restrictions can be tricky to trade to the short side. So it is still shortable. A lot of times, stocks with bad news will gap down during pre-market and trigger SSR. They'll often grind down slowly and then have big pops and then continue to fade. They can provide great shorting opportunities, but you have to be—you have to have good timing. 
The number one rule for trading stocks with SSR, don't short them at lows. They'll either flush and not fill you, or they'll actually have a big pop, and you're stuck with a bad entry. You want to wait for a spike to get a good entry with better risk versus reward. So essentially, when, you, when you're when you shorting, uh, you have to match the, the uh, how do I say this? You have to match the bid. So you have to you have to be willing to buy something, a, a share that somebody is selling, right? So you are basically swapping hands with somebody else that is trying to get rid of their shares. So that's what SSR does. It makes it impossible for, for hedge funds to short ladder the stock, which is actually a really good thing. I'm gonna come back here to AMC and look at what we're looking at. Up 18% on the day as it sits right now. I'm gonna delete this Fibonacci retracement and clean up some of these lines. Actually, I'm just going to delete all these lines and redraw what we have going on with the charts here. Keep it nice and clean. What we're looking at right now, I'm going to look at this microscopically and then change it over to a more macroscopic chart so we can get a different perspective. But we did have a nice upward channel. It does look like we are breaking that right now. A uh, lot of buys at the 911 to 913 range. So I'm going to draw that up right here, 911 to 913. I anticipate this being a pretty significant level. I'm going to extend this out. 911 to 913. We'll see if it holds here. This is what I'm anticipating being a nice level of, of uh, support right now. And it does look like it is acting as so. Thank you, local meme officer. Everyone is buying in two minutes on AMC. Make sure to buy your shares individually. Hold the line. Thank you, everybody that is taking the time to donate. I appreciate all of you immensely. It means so much to me. Marcos, Curtis, Hanson, Ryan Hurd, Adam, thank you so much. Up 2K in AMC options, shares in 20 minutes. That's insane, dude. Gnarly. You're really you're crushing, my friend. Sleepless Hustler says, if you can afford it Thursday, everybody buy one share of AMC every hour. You heard the man. You heard the man. If you can afford it, uh, this is not coming from me. I am simply the messenger. I am the messenger of uh, the man himself, Sleepless Hustler. How can you not respect a guy with a name like that? How can you not respect a guy with a name, Sleepless Hustler? Margaret Ward, thank you for the $20 super chat. I do appreciate that immensely. You guys all rock. It really means the world to me to have everybody watching. If you are new to the channel, welcome. I am extremely glad to have you here. We do technical analysis. We look at stocks and stuff. We talk some BS. We like to look at different tickers. I do cover at least a few. I know that I'm missing some of these super chats. I apologize to everybody out there that I am missing right now. But I am glad to have you here. We are watching AMC's live price action, giving you some technical analysis, some feedback, and it still looks extremely bullish. We've got a lot of volume. The volume looks great right now. The 15 MA, which is the moving average, some brokerage accounts don't offer this. This is Weeble for anybody wondering. This is the version four for desktop, which is a great platform. It is uh, absolutely fantastic. I, I highly recommend it. I'm not going to be one of those guys that says use my link, but I have it down there if you want to check it out. Uh, if not, I don't really care. I promise you, but it's a great platform. And, uh, as it sits right now, we are seeing a, mo a little bit more of a pullback. So I'm going to drop a Fibonacci retracement really quick and give you guys an idea of what we're looking at. And 61.8% is where we're going to be looking to stop this pullback at. And this is not bad yet, right? We could actually be looking at a double bottom here and a double bottom is a bullish indicator. In fact, everybody knows what these are guys, 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 guys. So Everybody over the Discord, drop some freaking uh, George W's because you know what I'm about to say. You know what I'm about to say. This could end up being a George W. So a George W is when you get two bottom outs and it looks like a W formation. So we've got the first bottom here. And if it plays out the same, we could see the second bottom here. And if we do see that, that is a great bullish indicator. It could be an indication of an upcoming run. And actually, as it stands right now, guys, that is an insanely beautiful hammer candle. This is, this is what you call a shooting star. So you've got a really small body and a really long wick underneath the candle. That is typically an indicator of a bullish reversal. And if we see an engulfing candlestick pattern right here, this, uh, this green candle that is larger than the previous red candle, that is going to be a big, big push. That should really help drive some price action here. We need to see the volume continue to run. The pullback has brought down to uh, 50 on the RSI, which is not bad. That's not a harsh correction. In terms of point change, that is 81 down to 50, which is about a 30-point swing. Not bad whatsoever. That is not a harsh correction. And it does actually look like we ended up setting a higher low here. So this is not bad. We are actually stair-stepping. We are an upward-moving channel as it sits right now. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven touch points. Wide range candle bar. That looks like it is currently the bottom. If we look at the level twos, there's a large wall at 924 as it sits right now. So I will draw that up here on the charts really quick. 924 is going to be a level of resistance, which makes sense. It does touch quite a few candle wicks. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're looking to push it, looking for a wide range candle bar. We need some buyers to step in and break over that wall. Thank you, everybody, for watching the video. Thank you for joining the live stream. I'm going to read some more of the Super Chats here. Thank you again, Margaret. I appreciate you very much. Bobby, my roommate's name in college was Bobby. His actual name was Sam, but uh, it's good to see you here. Veteran who used my GI Bill to learn economics and data science. Showing support. I appreciate you, my friend. I'll join your Discord wherever I find out what Discord, whenever I find out what Discord is. Hey, thank you so much. So the Discord is available to anybody. I should have a link in the description of the video. But essentially... It, uh, you, you'll find the link to the Patreon, and I'll just make sure that I have this available. I'm going to pull up the live stream on my channel just to make sure the links are there for everybody if you are interested. Um, but if not, that's totally cool, too. I promise you, I am just enjoying everything about what's going on here, watching the price action with you guys, being with the community. Uh, that's, that's absolutely what I love to do. So it is down there for you if you're interested. Patreon underneath social media. Thank you so much for the great question. And I appreciate your, your service, my friend. Seriously, that means a lot to me. I, I have mad respect for every veteran out there, no matter what your job was in the Army. Steven, thank you so much for the donation. I will come back to you. Salty Jonathan Myers, free my grandma. <laughs> Here's some of my money. I always laugh when I see that. Uh, Jacob, Jonathan again, Jake Howden. Uh, everybody here, gosh, I got to scroll back up. Jake Howden, Curtis, Terrence, Elrak, Redrar, Anthony, Willie, Hassan, John, Brennan, King, Donovan, thank you so much, my friends. I really do appreciate everybody here taking the time to join us on this live stream today and watch some live price action with AMC. Going to come back up here and read off a question from Stephen Morrison. Can you take a look at Rolls Royce? Hold, looking at a long term hold, I thought it was odd Robin Hood had it on their limited trade list. So I'm not entirely sure. Um, What's been going on with Rolls Royce? But this, this seems like a similar situation to IDEX. So IDEX gets a lot of hate for being a pump stock. Uh, man, I don't know. Brother, I'm going to be honest with you. I think there's better stocks out there. I mean, it's, it's so bearish, man. It hasn't found a bottom yet. It just keeps bleeding. I highly recommend just looking at a different company for now. This doesn't mean you can't come back to Rolls Royce, right? You can definitely come back to Rolls Royce, but at this point, man, it's just it's just getting butchered. I think there's better stocks out there. I'm sorry. It's just really bearish. Salty Shackle says, buy more AMC at 1.30 p.m. EST. You heard it from him. Uh, thank you for the donation, my friend. I do appreciate you. 1.30 p.m. EST. That is the consensus. That is not my words. It is coming from Salty Shackles. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Uh, that is simply be, being the messenger. So you heard it there first, guys. How can you not listen to a guy like Salty Shackles? A name like that, you know he knows what he's talking about. Going to come here to the one-minute chart. Guys, look at this. Look at that candle. That looks nice. You know what this is reminding me of? Somebody said this earlier. Somebody said this earlier, guys. This looks a lot like the setup that we saw right before GameStop went absolutely bonkers. Oh, man. What if this is it? Guys, look at this. Midday right now. This looks very similar. Oh, oh, oh. oh man. That looks dirty, guys. I'm pumped. I'm pumped. I'm pumped. I'm pumped. Free my grandma. Thank you. <laughs> Here's some of your money. I appreciate you. AAL and its movement today. Has, has American Airlines been moving pretty well? I've been so honed in on uh, AMC that I haven't even watched. All right, we are on an upswing here. So this did, I will get to Amer American Airlines, I promise you. But I am going to read this really quick. Watch the price action here. We are on the next uptick. So right now, we are we are ascending. We have a nice couple of touch points here on this ascending level of support. We are on an upward moving channel. We do have the George, George W. This is not going to be a head and shoulders pattern, likely. We're going to wait and see. This is the head. This would end up being a shoulder. This would end up being a shoulder, but it is ascending. So I don't think that is likely to be the case. This does look like an ascending double bottom, which is typically a nice bullish indicator. In fact, this could be a triple bottom because we do have a, a, a little bit of a price rejection right there and a nice wide range candle bar. I do not feel bad about how the price action looks here. That looks good. We've got some nice wide range candles. Volume is pumping in right now. We do have a little bit of uh, resistance that's going to probably meet us at 945. That is where I'm seeing right now. A lot of, uh, lot of sell orders right there at 945. So we are going to watch to see if we push over that. 
lot of buys coming in at 930, which is right around here. So as it sits right now, this is the price zone that we are looking at trading between until we see the next push as it sits now. We will come over to American Airlines here for our friend uh, Jacob Lettington. Thank you so much for the donation and for your uh, your viewage. I do appreciate you very much. So American Airlines was another one of those stocks that got absolutely pumped really, really hard, right? So they got they got roped into that huge, insane situation with um with BB, Nokia, all those different stocks that were uh, kind of being pushed by WSB for a little while. And it retraced very harshly. This looks a lot like uh, Noke, Nokia. So, you know, American Airlines could be a good play in a sense where you may you may see it, you know, just because of COVID reopening, you know, quarantines ending, the, the country reopening, you could see this really do some good things in the future. But uh, it's going to take some time. It's going to take some time. If you are a bag holder, I don't think it's the end of the world. Uh, but it is moving nicely today. You know, the next level that we're going to be watching for in terms of resistance is likely going to be right around here at uh, $18.44. So I don't mind it. I like how everything looks right now with American Airlines. It is moving well. We got some nice green candles. Volume is pretty pretty average today. Nothing insane. Uh, but a lot of buy orders. So it's not, it's not looking bad, my friend. Going to come back here to AMC. Same thing. Everyone buy one share. AMC at 115 Oh, we passed it. I apologize, my friend. 130 is what I am hearing as of now, though. 130 EST, which is 1230 uh, CST for anybody out there wondering. I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom here just so I can keep up with everybody. Popcorns in the chat, boys. You you heard the man. Drop some popcorns. Popcorns for the theaters, baby. Just because AMC is sitting back watching, enjoying everything about what is going on right now with their stock. They gotta be, they gotta be pretty happy. They can't be too sad. Currently, we are up 19% on the day with AMC. Seeing a little bit of price rejection, wide range candle, a uh, little bit of a pullback. We have an engulfing candlestick pattern here, which is typically a bearish reversal sign. We will have to wait and see how this pans out, but we are still setting higher highs and higher lows. We are still moving in this upward channel, and I'm going to extend this out so that we can see what we would be looking at if we do end up seeing more pullback. We will wait and see how this goes. Justin, thank you so much. Two Bar Hero, Inner Vals, Nick Romano. I appreciate you guys. Viper91, I appreciate you very much. Juan, we apu, free spin. Thank you for joining, my friend. That is insane. I appreciate everybody here so much. This is so crazy. Uh, enjoying this very much. Free spin is a part of the Discord. Thank you for coming, my friend. I appreciate you taking a peek. You got to take a look at MVIS. Our streams are getting big. Let's go. Dude, I said MVIS was going to take off today. I told you guys. Oh, it's going to do it. It's going to test it. I think this is an all-time high. This is an all-time high, isn't it? No way. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, my God. It's right there. It is right there. Dude, I really, really hope people listen to my MVIS video today. I really hope they did. Oh, my God. That's insane. Look at this. It's so close. It's so close right now. Holy crap. This is it, guys. This is insane. Thank you for pointing that out. I knew it was running today, but geez. She is really, really running. There it is. We need to see the push. Oh, my gosh. That is nuts. Wow. Thank you for pointing that out. I'm glad I, I'm glad I didn't miss that. <clears throat> Nick Romano, I appreciate that. Days to cover is a ratio and not days represented. Correct. It is a it is a ratio, essentially. So days to cover does mean what it means, right? So uh, essentially, it's short interest divided by the average volume in a stock. And the smaller the days to cover, the faster and more able it is for a short to be able to cover their position. So a larger days to cover means that it's going to take more time for the short to cover. They can cover any time, right? That's the break even, essentially. So the higher the number, the more likely you are to see a squeeze come. So right now, as we said before, it was more bearish territory. We were the, the shorts were winning the battle. So it's good to see the reversal that we saw happening with AMC. Man, I can't believe how Microvision's running today. This is so freaking beautiful. That that brings tears to my eyes, guys. I love my girl Mavis. What a beautiful, beautiful stock. Really did it. 980. Just the beginning. I'm a new subscriber. I'm new to this whole trading deal, but I'm learning a lot and love the energy from your channel. Thanks for the cool content. I'm currently holding AMC. Welcome, Nick. We are glad to have you here, my friend. AMC is doing fantastic right now. We are on a nice upward moving channel as it sits right now. And we are coming up close to that 1.30 p.m. EST time. We are eight minutes away, uh, just about seven minutes. I will remind everybody here as... Uh, 
I do not remember the name, but there was a subscriber that is watching right now. I will give you a quick shout out right now. Uh, do 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 do. Going to come back up here and take a peek. Salty Shackles. So Salty Shackles says at 1.30 p.m. EST, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. But he says at 1.30 p.m. EST, we are all buying one share of uh, AMC. So keep that in the back of your mind. All righty, all righty. And uh, we're going to scroll down here. At the bottom. Thank you guys so much for the donations. I do appreciate everybody watching right now. We have 16,000 viewers right now. <laughs> you guys rock. It is so awesome. Welcome if you are new to the channel. I really do appreciate you taking the time to join the stream here. Join the community. Join the team. The crew. I watch One Piece. Uh, I'm an anime guy. I love anime if you can't tell. I'm currently wearing a Goku shirt. This is not actually Supreme. Uh, I wish I was that cool. I'm unfortunately not. But uh, I love uh, I love anime. And I love the idea of having a crew. You guys are my crew. I appreciate everybody here immensely. Thank you so, so much. Means the world to me. Brian, Paul, Jesus, um, Gary, Hassan, Kyle, Adam. Thank you so much for your support. I do appreciate the super chats. You all rock. I'm going to read a couple of these right now. Let's make this Wall Street bet of AMC. You're great at communicating, Trey. Uh, you make me feel safe, man. Hey, man, you know, I uh, <laughs> this made me think of this. I was on uh, I was on Ice Poseidon's live stream. I was talking with him about stocks. And um, I said, hey, man, like, uh, or yeah, man. I think it was yeah, man. I said, yeah, man, like... Uh, <laughs> Like 30 times, and they were all roasting me. But uh, yeah, man, as I said, <clears throat> I do appreciate that a lot. I will continue to do what we're doing here, my friend. It is what it is. What do you think about Riggle? Coming from Gary. Thank you, my friend. I do appreciate that. We will take a quick peek at Riggle. Uh, there we go. Riggle looks pretty bearish on the one day, but we'll look at this on the one month. Yeah, so it's just having a hard pullback right now. <clears throat> Makes sense. It's had a pretty, pretty heavy run-up. I would anticipate based on previous, it might be harsh. It might be harsh. That's that's pretty harsh. Um, based on what I'm seeing on the charts, you're likely to see it stop right around here. I'm going to guess you're going to see it stop right around 398. That's my anticipation. All right. Let's read a couple more of these right now. What do you Would you say UAVS is a buy? Also, you the man. I appreciate you, my friend. UVS is, uh, I think, kind of a competition to Microvision. So I don't like pumping my my competition. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. Not to, it's a good company. It's a good company. But I do think it's a buy. Uh, it is, it's pulled back pretty harshly. Uh, but it is finally found a bottom. It found a bottom here down at 78.5%. And I think a good entry point to this right now is about 11 bucks. If you get an $11, I think it's going to treat you pretty well. It is now in an ascending uh, channel, which is very bullish in nature. It looks good. UAVS looks like a good buy. I don't think you're going to go wrong. I'll just wait for a pullback. I think you can get it a better price than $11.30. Watch for about $11. I think that's my price target on it. Kyle, thank you so much. All you AMC guys, we're buying two shares at 2 p.m. Eastern. So we are buying at least one share at 1.30 EST. This is not coming from me. This is coming from uh, Sandy Shackles. Uh, so keep that in the back of your mind. I apologize if I said that wrong. I think that is what your name was. Adam H, buy your, buy your AMC shares one at a time. Buy your AMC shares one at a time. Buying one a minute. Options shooting up like crazy. Man, AMC is going nuts right now, my friends. Let's come back down to AMC. We're going to look at the overall price action. Still up 19.8% on the day. Change it back to the one minute chart. I feel like I am commentating on the Super Bowl right now. <laughs> this is so exciting. This is so fun to watch, guys. I hope you're enjoying the stream. If you are, uh, that is awesome. <laughs> I'm so glad to have you here. So thank you for the tip on MVIS. I'm up 30%. You have gotten me through the days here with the hand-holding on AMC. Thank you for everything. Stacy. that means a lot to me. I am so happy for everybody out there that was able to get into MVIS today. They're up 27%. I did call that earlier this morning. I made a video saying you should buy Microvision. I do think it's going to have a pretty heavy run today, and it did indeed do that. So that is beautiful. I'm loving the price action there. BB is also up today. HCMC was another one of my calls. I said this would run today. If you got into HCMC, you can't buy this on Webull, but you can with Charles Schwab. So if you got into HCMC, you are up uh, right now 21% on the day. And uh, you, you'd be doing pretty well for yourself. 21% on a day? I would not complain about that, my friends. That is pretty solid. Another one of my calls for the day. I did talk about NAC, and I think NAC did pretty well as well. Uh, let me take a quick peek. At NAC, just going to pull this up right now. Northern, 
So they're up about 0.61%, but there was opportunity to, to turn a quick profit. Uh, I did say that you're likely to see a level of resistance right around 63.8 or so. Uh, I, I don't think this is game over yet either. This is looking pretty good. This is a bullish chart. It had a pull, hard pullback, but still running very well. Uh, but MVIS and um, MVIS and what was my other suggestion? We're doing well for the day. That's all I'm saying. I'm, I'm grateful for everybody out there that's making money. Absolutely beautiful. Love the content, man. You are quickly becoming my go-to investing YouTuber. I appreciate that, Josh. That means a lot to me, man. I seriously, it blows my mind. This is, is uh, this is honestly something that I never anticipated. When I started this channel, guys, I started this in mid-December of 2020. And I thought to myself, man, a year from now, if I have a thousand subs, I'll be the happiest guy on the, in the, on the planet. And you guys are really something else. It means an immense amount to me. I'm so, so freaking grateful for every single person here that takes the time to watch the content here. We will continue to show you guys live price action. We will continue to educate as much as we can and honestly just build a beautiful community because that's what it's all about, guys. That is what I love about YouTube is just making friends, making connections, and continuing to ride together. Thank you so much for the, the super chats coming from Jay Appleseed. Alex, I'm going to scroll back up here so I can keep up with everybody. I don't want to leave anybody out. We are looking at uh, coming back up, coming back up, scrolling up. We are looking at Jay Appleseed, Alex, Declan, Intervals, Tracy Hall, Jonathan Myers, Actualized Trader, Brett again. Thanks, uh, thank you so much. Pelt did it again. Poncho Pons, Curtis. My, my dad's name was Curtis. That, 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 I mean, me reminisce a little bit. L Boosters, Two Bar Hero, Mo, JT, Cali, Dewey, Making It, Alberto, Blake, Marvin, Dave Trades. Hey, man, I like that. I like that. King, Bima, and Brandon. Thank you guys so much for the super chats. I know that I am missing some of you guys. It really, uh, I wish I could answer everybody, but the amount of people in here is overwhelming. It is absolutely beautiful to have the amount of support of, of everybody here. Uh, we are doing fantastic today with AMC. Still moving in a nice upward channel. In fact, we have gapped up a little bit from this upward moving channel. We are still squeezing down very hard. In fact, I want to show you guys something right now that I am seeing. Now that I'm looking at the charts, we are seeing a little bit of a squeeze down on the price action here. So what I'm going to do is take it from the top of this trend right here. And you may very easily see... A push very soon. We have a nice bottom right here. Inside of this little triangle, we have a nice ascending formation. We got two candle wicks touching. I'd prefer to see three, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep that on there. But we are still setting higher lows and higher highs. Really squeezing down, getting ready. This is a tight price zone. This is gonna be a very crucial couple of minutes coming up next with the stock. Neko Nikki, thank you so much for the five dollars, my friend. I appreciate you so much. Thanks for keeping a positive analysis when all main YouTubers are bears. When I take profits, I'd use it to join a course that you make in the future. I do appreciate that very, very much. Honestly, my friends, I uh, I prefer to keep the content free. I may end up making a course in the future on, on reading charts, how to, how to make money, etc. But I prefer to provide you guys free content and just put videos on YouTube. And I, I do have a couple videos out on how to read candlesticks, how to use Weeble, how to uh, use the indicators that I have pulled up here regarding the 200 EMA, the 15 MA. The, uh, the RSI indicator, how to read volume, right? And I will continue to provide that content in the future. So I do appreciate that very much, but I do prefer to uh, keep it available to everybody. Craig Couch, thank you so much for the donation. I appreciate you as well. Champagne, Kyle, Jasmine. Craig says, you are the man. Love watching your channel blow up. Man, <laughs> I can't keep up. This stuff is absolutely mind-blowing. You know, I, I'm trying to read the chat right now, and it is absolutely impossible. So I do apologize. I know that I try to typically read the chat, but I've never had 17,000 concurrent viewers watching a live stream before. So this is absolutely monumental. This is groundbreaking stuff. I appreciate immensely everybody here. And we are going to time this in the next minute. We did miss 1.30 p.m. EST. But if you did miss it, we are going to, as as uh, San and uh, I think it was San, San Shady. Oh, shoot. I don't remember his name. But I'm passing along a message. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. And uh, we're going to say... 33. So in 57 seconds, I will count it down when we get closer. We are going to all purchase one share of AMC as according to the subscriber that requested it to happen. So coming back to the stock right now. <clears throat> Thank you, Jay, Tom, Chris, Athel, two and one productions forever, ever. I will read you guys' comments in just a second here. We are coming up on the next 30 seconds before uh, we reach 133 EST. So we are about 35 seconds away right now. As it sits, the stock is moving. We did break above this level of resistance. The ask is at 950 with a 25,000 share wall. So that is going to be hard to break. 
That is going to be hard to break at 950. We are going to look at a big, big wall here. And we are coming up very close. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All righty, all righty, all righty. How are we looking today on the chart? We are looking very, very nice. It is moving really smoothly, guys. We are in a nice upward moving channel as it sits right now. Uh, we do still have that large buy wall, uh, sell wall, I should say, at 950. So we are looking to break that. We do have one, two, three, four, five, six different touch points here in this ascending channel, this ascending level of support. Everything is looking very, very nice right now. I'm going to delete this right here. And if we do follow along this upward channel, uh, we should continue to see a retest, I think, very soon of $9.77. This should come fairly quickly. And this, if this ends up being a candle wick, that is going to be good. We are looking for a candle wick here to signify that we're continuing this upward trend. Going to read some of these questions really quick. All righty, all righty. Going to come back up here. Coming from J Tom. Love your channel, man. New fan here. I'm feeling better that we are on a rise. AMC, baby. AMC, all my cash, baby. Man, AMC is crushing. We're going, we're going to town. This is cooking with Crisco, baby. As sure as Southern Love of Mamas cook their chicken with Crisco, AMC is going to the moon, my friends. This looks beautiful. This looks absolutely beautiful. I can't believe we're going this insane over the stock going up uh 20%, but man, it feels good. It feels real good to see this in the green. I will tell you that right now. AMC is looking pretty fantastic right now. All right, Jasmine. For day trades and anime, thanks for what you do. Hey, you know what? That's going to pay for one month of my Crunchyroll subscription. <laughs> that means a lot to me, my friend. Thank you so much. Uh, Chris, did you see Time today? What are your thoughts? I think Time was another one of those stocks that's getting pumped right now. I think it probably is up quite a bit. I did not look at it yet, but I will take a quick peek. Yeah, so Time is up. Over 100%. I know this was a stock that was talked about pretty heavily. Um, but that's that's a pretty nasty amount of uh, of volume. Time Tech. Was there a news news that came out 41 minutes ago? Do 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 do. I don't see any recent news that should have that should have uh, justified that run. That's insane though. Up to almost five bucks down from a dollar 81. That's an insane run, guys. That's pretty nasty. The Jang, yeah, I, I wouldn't buy in right now. That scares me to death because this doesn't last forever. This kind of volatility usually comes crashing down, uh, but we will see what happens. We will see what happens. Don't hold me to it. This is just not my type of play to get into. I don't like buying near the all-time highs uh, myself personally. So I'm going to come back down here to AMC, GME. I just saw AMC right here. $9.32 is where we're currently sitting at. Have a large buy wall at $9.25. So I do anticipate that we should see a nice level of support at $9.25. So I'm going to move this down here to about 925. And we have a large, no large sell walls, actually. No large sell walls. Actually, now the large buy wall has moved to 927. So things are starting to move up very, very slowly. A2, the Albino. Thank you so much. Two and one productions. Lucky number seven for you and AMC. Give a shout out to my daughter, if you would, kind sir. Her name is Ellie. Shout out to Ellie from two and one productions. Thank you so much for the donation. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, I know that I sure am, and it is great to hear from you guys. Hope that you're doing well, uh, and bless you. Forever, ever, we don't fold, we break. It's Treyway. Hold AMC. Hold. Gorillas together, man. Apes together. That's what's up. That is what's up. I'd buy this for a dollar. I wouldn't buy it for a hundred dollars. I wouldn't buy it for ten dollars. I wouldn't even buy it for a dollar. <laughs> I don't know if any of you guys watch SpongeBob, but buying one share. Amen, my friend. In case you haven't noticed, congrats on breaking 1 million total views on the channel. What? No way. Did we really? There's no way we did. I got to pull this up now. How do you know that? Where does it say that? What? I'm going to go to my, my YouTube studio quick and check this out because I need to, I need to verify that. Dang. I guess I did. <laughs> How about that? That's pretty cool. Thank you, my friend. I, I didn't realize. That's, uh, it's been a lot of fun. I appreciate everybody here. It's been a great journey. And uh, we're going to continue to do exactly what we've been doing, my friends. It's it's uh, At the end of the day, we're still putting out the same content. We still have the same community, the same family. It is the same game. Thank you guys very much for being here. Stanley, I appreciate you. I appreciate everybody that is giving a super chat. I know that I cannot answer everybody. I do apologize. Stanley, Sylvan, Carlos, Ross, uh, Chili Paha, King Donovan, John Leonard, Jolie Pine, uh, Eric Facini, 
Diesel, two and one productions, Dimitri and Diesel. I am going to scroll back up here so I can read some of this stuff. What software are you using? This is Weeble. Weeble is the software that I'm using currently for the uh, the charting. And I am also using OBS as my screen recording software. It does allow me to use my 4K webcam at the same time. Guys, believe it or not, I am actually going to buy a D... Uh, a, a, what are those cameras called? DLSR. Uh, I do plan on buying that. I did not have the funds for that before. But I do plan on getting the best content that I possibly can out to everybody. So that is the, the software I'm using now. Carlos, I'm buying shares nonstop in small increments until it hits... 15 might be trending the airlines as the majority utilize their engine. We helped AMC out of bankruptcy when stock goes down. They should help money, 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 my friend. Thank you so much for that. Ross, you are the man. No, it's you, my friend. That is what's cracking. I'm going to read through a couple more of these. Then we're going to take a look at AMC and GME. Look at the overall situation for both. Uh, Chili Paha bought 500 shares and five August calls MVS this morning. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you're sitting real filthy right now, my friend. Dang. You are sitting so good. 937. It pulled back a little bit, but that's still not bad. It's still in a good situation. I don't mind that whatsoever. King Donovan. Urgent. Check stock twits. We are synchronized synchronously buying one to two shares at given times. Let's short ladder attack them back. Guys, um, I will check stock twits real quick, but I I don't feel comfortable in uh leading a coup per se. I, I want to stay apolitical and un- un- unopinionated in this, but I will pull up per request of King Donovan stock twits and uh when you guys are doing certain things here we will have that available for you so as of right now keep buying they can't stop us so close to 200 million in volume 2 p.m eastern time so 2 p.m does seem to be the next time in which we are going to buy two shares keep that in the back of your mind that is what it sounds like as of now 2 p.m eastern standard time as of stock twits is what we are looking at right now thank you king donovan john leonard says you combed your hair With 17,627 viewers, I would too. (laughs) Honestly, dude, uh, I didn't even realize. I I mean, I guess I I didn't comb my hair today, but I did put some product in it. I put some product in it. I wanted to look nice. I wanted to look nice. I was in a good mood. Things are chilling right now. We're rocking. We're having a great time, and we are going to continue to do so. Welcome to all of you who are new to the channel. We have 18,000 viewers right now. That's absolutely mind-blowing. I appreciate everybody so much. If you could do me one small favor, this is all that I ask. Because we are apes together, apes together strong. Uh, we do not break like these sticks from Planet of the Apes. Uh, please like this video because we like this stock. That's all that I ask. I simply ask that one thing that would mean a lot to me. Jolly Pine, two shares at 2 p.m. EST according to WSB. You heard it there first. I am the messenger. I'm not a financial advisor. Two shares at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is the consensus. Eric Diesel. Two and one. I appreciate you very, very much for the donation. You guys all rock. I'm going to read through some of your guys' names really quick. Uh, two and one productions. High five again, my friend. I appreciate you. Thank you. Dimitri, have you thought of SMPW as a long-term investment? I have, and I am going to be holding. I am down on SMPW pretty bad right now in my Fidelity account. Uh, I, you guys that are new to the channel probably do not know, but I had a, an emergency happen in the middle of day trading. Didn't realize I left in an, uh, a position open and walked back to it being down about 60%. Uh, SMPW is down from my dollar cost average pretty bad, but I am still holding the position as I do think it has a lot of potential. Okay, Diesel Reese, can I get a shout out? Shout out to Diesel. Thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate the donation. I appreciate the super chat. Neff Bomber, I thank you so much. Thanks, Trey. Go join our dash AMC stock to join the fight. We can definitely do that right now. So I'll pull up AMC. To do to do to do stock. Let's check this out. R dash AMC stock. I will look at this right now. The lounge. Prepare for war today, apes. Man, I love that. I love that movement. I love this apes movement. It cracks me up. A place to talk. All right. So what people are talking about right now? Betsky to the moon. We go. Two more shares, one at 2 p.m. EST, the other at 345. Let's finish this strong. Let's finish strong. This is war. So it sounds like we were getting two more sh- two more pushes, one at 2 p.m., one at 345. Not according to me, according to people here in the AMC chat. So 2 p.m. is the next time we're watching for. It is currently uh 142 EST right now. So we were 18 minutes away. As it sits right now, we are 18 minutes away from the next push thank you very much for everybody out there that referred me to the amc reddit thread that is where we are at right now gonna come back here to amc and look at the overall price action that we are currently dealing with so 
AMC as it sits right now is up 18.93%. Looking pretty good on the day. It's holding very well right now, trading in a very tight price zone. We do have a George W right here, which is a double bottom. George W. And that is typically a bullish reversal indicator. We are holding pretty well above this level of support. This is a strong level of support. Look at the buys coming in right now. Look at this bot, this bid list. You've got quite a few buys at 927 to 929. In fact, 925 to 930. So I, do, I find it very unlikely that we break beneath this level of, uh, of support. It does seem that we are pushing pretty hard, but we also do have quite a few asks coming in as well. So right now we're having a tug of war between buyers and sellers. Uh, it does appear to be the case. And if we continue to push, this is going to end up being a green day, at least it seems, for the buyers. We are holding up very, very well. The volume is trading pretty decent. Currently, even Steven on the RSI trading at 50, which is good. We are not looking bad there. I am going to pull up quick the 15 MA, which is very highly gapped over the 200 EMA. Bullish indicator. Everything about this right now looks good. Consolidation does slightly fight a favor buyers. So I don't mind that we're trading sideways right now. This is not a bad thing. Don't be scared because it's not moving. We will eventually begin moving again. I, I am feeling very good right now about how AMC is doing. Love it, love it, love it. All right. Awesome channel. AMC to the moon. Any thoughts on Sava? Thank you for the donation, my friend. I appreciate you, Alamaru. That means a lot to me. Uh, Sava, I have never looked at before, but we will take a quick peek at it. So Sava as it sits right now. Ooh, Jesus. What the heck happened here? What kind of news did they have? Oh, yeah, that'd be it. Alzheimer drug trial results. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. So they, they apparently had some really solid results with an Alzheimer drug. And that's why I've seen this run up. But this is a crazy, 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 crazy tra uh, chase. Don't buy this right now. Don't buy this near the all-time high of $84. You might miss out on a run, guys. You might miss out on a run, I know. I do not want you to be bag holders. If you're going to buy this, please set a stop loss. Don't be a bag holder with this stock because this is a lot of ground to cover in two days. You're going to see some of this give back without a doubt. Honestly, I would not be surprised to see a drop to 44.93 or 52.46, right? It's a buy the hype, sell the news kind of play. Do not buy that. It, it looks a little bit scary. Uh, in my opinion, that's near all time highs. Thank you for the question though. I appreciate that very much. Everybody that is commenting right now. Thank you for taking the time to do so. It does mean a lot to me. We're gonna come back here to AMC once again and take a look at the overall price action and how we are sitting currently up 20%. Does look like we have moved a little bit because previously we were at 19. We do have a nice wide range candle bar. That looks very clean. Holding up very well in this, in this nice upward moving channel. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different touch points here. Coming up very close to an important and critical 5 to 10 minutes. Wide range candle bar. Currently pushing 943. We have a wall at 951. So as it sits right now, there's a nice wall sitting at 951. We need to break that. That is the biggest, the biggest ask wall that I'm seeing right now. So if we push over 950 to 951, that should bring us to a retest of 977. That is what we're looking at right now. But we do have a nice wide range candle bar. The bids are actually really well spread out. There's not any one crazy number. But we are seeing very even split out bids. So a lot of buying pressure coming in. The only big ask that I'm seeing is that one wall at 950. Otherwise, it's holding pretty well right now. I do anticipate 950 is going to be an important level to push through and a very difficult resistance. Going to read through some more of these comments. Thank you, everybody that is donating. I really do appreciate you. Your local meme officer, J. Rue, Asteria, Brian, James, Adina, Nathan, Eli, uh, Whitey, Z Amazing Dino, J Appleseed. I missed, I, I, I uh, accidentally scrolled down too far. J Appleseed, Uriel, Mr. Jim, Curtis, uh, Dwani, Wolfcraft, Jamie, Jared, the Sifo family, Gabe, Glenn, Matt, Jack. Thank you guys so much for the the super chats. I really do appreciate it. It does not go unnoticed. I, I extremely appreciate every single person here for being a part of the community, taking the time to watch the videos. If you are watching this video right now, you are part of the traders community, and I am so glad to have you here. Welcome to the live stream. We have 18,500 people here right now. Ah, ooh, ho, 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 ho. She's going. We broke it. We broke it. We broke it. I have to stop mid-sentence. I can't. I can't, uh, I can't not get excited about this. We have a wide range candle bar. We pushed over that level of resistance at 950. The next level we're going to be watching for. Let's take a quick peek here. So we've got a lot of uh, a lot of sell orders at 960 as it sits right now. So as I'm seeing right now, 960 
And we are testing it. We're testing 960. Guys, I can't even keep up. This is happening so fast. We got a lot of buys coming in. 960 is going to be the level. That's where I'm seeing the most sellers right now is at 960 with 8,000 total in size. Uh, break over 960 will likely give us another retest of 977. This is looking absolutely beautiful. You guys are going insane in the chat right now, guys. You guys are going nuts. Keep sending those buys. Keep sending those buys. We're looking beautiful, guys. This is crushing. This is crushing right now. Guys, I told you, consolidation is not bad. We've got the George W. You can't be mad about the George W. Oh, that is filthy. We've got one bottom here, another bottom here, two mini micro bottoms here. This is a big, large-scale George W. formation. If this is any indicator of what's to come, guys, this could be a big, big rip. This could be the beginning of something pretty nasty. We are moving in a nice, clean, upward channel right now. Currently pushing 960. We pushed over 960, 965. Next big wall is at 970. So if we zoom out here to 970, that is going to be right around here. So we got to see if we retest 970. Uh, we did see a little bit of wick on top here. But these are wide-range candle bars, guys. We're making a lot of traction right now. This is moving. This is moving pretty nasty. This is looking really, really nice. Gonna scroll down to the bottom here. I know that I'm missing some people. I do apologize. I try to read everybody and at least recognize that you sent me a super chat. It, I know it is not fair. I wish that I could answer every single person here, but unfortunately, I would be reading information that is 15 to 20 minutes old. And I do like to get back to as many people in, as, in a timely manner as I possibly can. So Gabe, Glenn, Matt, Jack, Cosmo, Wayne Wood, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Kyle, you guys all rock. I do appreciate you guys sending me the super chats. This is insane. We're having a fantastic day today. This is beautiful. Uh, we do have a lot of great news come out. We have we have the BlackRock uh, funding that was signed yesterday on February 2nd. Uh, they were in talks back in December. And I do have, I think, an image pulled up talking about this right now. I will see if I can find this for you. And... I do not have that pulled up now, but we can find that here in the future. Right now, we're going to watch the live price action. But essentially, BlackRock increased their overall stake in the company to 6.2 million shares. And that was signed and dated as of yesterday. Talked about back in the end of December. Looking absolutely beautiful. AMC is looking great right now. Leo, can you talk more about the SSR rule and what that means for today and beyond? I surely can. I did I did cover this earlier, but in case you are new to the stream, I will cover this for anybody who is curious. We will pull up the SSR rule. Coming up 10 minutes away, by the way, from 2 p.m. EST. We will keep watch on that. Make sure that you guys are all watching the time. This is not my words. Uh, this is coming from you guys. I'm simply the messenger. I'm not a financial advisor. Not financial advice. But the SSR rule is this. The short sale rule is triggered when a stock goes down more than 10% from its prior close. SSR remains on a stock for the rest of the trading day when it's triggered and remains on for the following trading day as well. The SEC made this rule to prevent short sellers causing a stock to tank. All it really does is make it difficult to short. And this does not mean that you can't short. It just makes it more difficult. So if we scroll down here, right? Trading stocks with short, real, short sale restrictions. Stocks with short sale restrictions can be tricky to trade to the short side. It makes it more difficult. A lot of times... Stocks with bad news will gap down pre-market and trigger SSR. They will often grind down slowly and then have big pops and then continue to fade. Uh, they can provide great shorting opportunities, but you have to have good timing. The number one rule for trading stocks with SSR is don't short them at lows. They will either flush, yada, yada. So essentially, shorting with SSR on means that they have to meet the hands of another buyer. They're not borrowing shorts from, uh, or, or stock, I should say, from the brokerage account. They have to basically buy it at the bid. So... Uh, it, it makes it more difficult for the stock to have issues. You can't just you can't just crash it because people have to actually be willing to exchange hands with a stock, and that is how it looks as of right now. Having a micro pullback, we do have an engulfing red candle right here. So that is an engulfing candlestick pattern. A little bit of a pullback. We are looking at a retest. It looks like of 950. We do see quite a bit of buys at nine. Oh man, that's a big big buy wall at 950 951. That is about 35,000 total shares at 950. I don't anticipate we're going to break that. We got a nice doji candle right now. Now we have a shooting star candle. Big fat hammer candle. That is a great bullish reversal indicator to me. I do like to see that. We are looking pretty good right now. I like this. I like this a lot. All righty. Going to read some more of these super chats. Thank you guys so much. I do appreciate every single person here. Kyle, David, JL, J. Tom, Almighty J, Leo E, thank you so much, Roll of Fatty, <laughs> Morin Stock Twits, Room, AMC 180K versus 150K GME. Guys, I'm telling you, I think that the switch has happened. I think more people are riding AMC right now than GameStop. And if you look at GameStop comparatively, 
It has made a big jump. Actually, it's doing really well right now. Holy cow. Look at GameStop go. And guys, keep in mind, GameStop and AMC usually ride at about the same interval. When GameStop starts moving, AMC usually does. And when AMC stops and, and, and vice versa, right, they stop moving, the other does. They'll tank and ride at the same time. So I would not be surprised to see AMC follow suit very, very soon. We are seven minutes away from 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. GameStop is running right now, guys. That was nasty. We were consolidating a little bit. This isn't bad. I got a nice level of support right here. If I had to guess how much this pulls back, if it does pull back, it is likely going to be to somewhere between 104 and 105. That is my estimate as of right now. Currently, AMC trading at 960. Still in an upward moving channel. This level of support, this ascending level of support is still being respected. Large sell wall at 970, which is still relevant. All right. Ray Kyle, thank you so much. Can you analyze GME? I just did go over that, so I hope that answers your question. My friend, I appreciate you. I'm uh, going to read some more of these. Uh, Josh, Tom, Misty, Guts Gaming, Ray UJ, uh, Spinu, Chris Tate, Sandy, McCon. I'm sorry if I said your name. Oh, McMahon. I appreciate you very much. I'm going to scroll back up here just a little bit. All right. In your opinion, what do you think AMC will reach after the short squeeze? It is so difficult, my friend. I would really be doing you a disservice to give you some sort of price target just because it is so hard to actually give a fair number. But I do think it's possible that um, that AMC does at the very least break $50. And comparatively, right? This is just comparatively to what we've seen. AMC did break from $3 to $25 with the first squeeze. So if you were to do the math, that's about 800%. And if it does that again from $10, that would be about $80. Now, we don't live in a vacuum. The situation is different. But if that does come to fruition, uh, the AMC squeeze could be pretty nasty. Six minutes away from 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We are almost 20,000 viewers right now, guys. That is insane. I'm so eternally grateful for everybody here. If you don't mind dropping a like because we like this stock. That is all I ask for. I do appreciate it very, very much. Thank you for everybody here. Hey man, love your energy coming from Tom. <laughs> What's your opinion on planner? Not looking for financial advice, just opinion. AMC to the moon. We will take a quick peek at PLTR, Palantir Technologies. So looking at the chart right now, Palantir, it's pulling back. It's doing a little bit of retracing. Um, it, it traded pretty flat, had a lot of run, and it's pulled back pretty hard to 78.6% retracement. I think that's the bottom. That was a pretty wide range candle bar. A little bit of overselling, in my opinion. Did touch down on the RSI at about 26. Nice buyer step back in. Uh, currently trading at 32. I think you're going to likely see a nice push back up to $33. I feel pretty safe getting in right now. It is still a little oversold on the RSI. I think you're sitting all right, my friend. That is my non financial expert advice. <laughs> Gotta come back to AMC right now. Taking a quick peek at AMC on the one minute chart, currently at 961, has not moved much yet. We do have a wide range candle bars looking like right now. We're looking to break 970. Still a large sell wall at 970 as well as 965. 965 has actually increased quite a bit. So we are going to move this down to 965. That is the current sell wall. Very, very tight price action right now, guys. This is loading the spring. Four minutes away from 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Two minutes away from Eastern Standard Time time getting very very close guys getting very close hopefully not too late thank you again missy i appreciate you guts gaming says hopefully not too late but i bought 220 shares this morning definitely not too late my friend you contributed to the cause and we are glad to have you here on the journey it means so much we are we, i love the community here guys it is that is honestly my favorite thing about what is happening right now with the amc movement if we make money that is so awesome i love making people money but i guarantee you i will always make us money i am going to guarantee you that we we have good plays and we, we work together as a team to make cash, and that is always going to happen. But this is an opportunity of a lifetime for people to step in together and make some really cool things happen. And we're doing that together as a community, regardless of your your origin on the on the planet, right? Your gender, your age, your race, your sexual orientation, your political background. People are coming together to do something together that they believe to be morally and ethically correct. And I love that. I absolutely love that. And uh, I, I am so glad to have you aboard that journey. Guts Gaming, that is absolutely beautiful. Thank you to everybody that is watching the stream right now. Almost 20,000 viewers, absolutely insane. I'm so grateful for every single one of you. Welcome to the Traders community. Two at two. We are almost, we are less than three minutes away. Currently, it is 1.57.18 Eastern Standard Time, 12.57.21 CST, Central Standard Time. Do not forget, my friends, we are almost there. This is not financial advice. This is not coming from me. I am the messenger, but the messenger is passing along the message from StockTwits, and that is the general consensus. It's 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 
Gonna read a couple more comments. Ray UJ, will we have SSR tomorrow? Uh, we did have it today, and it was set off, I believe, yesterday. Oh, it is moving right now. We did get a break. We did get a break. Let's look at the level twos. 970 is a still a solid sell wall. So we're looking at 970. We're looking at 970. 970 is a big sell wall at 15,000 shares, but we've got a lot of buyers at 955. So we're gonna move this up. It's continuing to squeeze down. This is a very tight price zone, guys. This is very, very tight. Extremely tight. We've got a big, big, big sell wall at 974 and 975 now. It's gonna be tough to break through this area. This is gonna be a very tough area. This is a lot of, lot of sellers there. A lot of sellers at 974 to 975. That's going to be tough. We're going to see what happens. We are two minutes away. One and a half minutes away. Two at two. Two at two, everybody. Everybody watching right now, we are coming up very close to the two at two. Coming from Stock Twits, coming from the Reddit threads, we are all working together to buy two at two. This is not financial advice. I am not telling you what to do. Make your own financial decisions. But as a consensus from the community, this does seem to be what everybody wants to do. We are looking pretty good right now. Here it goes. It's running. 974, 975. 981 is the next wall, it appears. Not a lot of buyers and sellers. There's not a lot of sellers at 975 anymore. We should be able to push that level. Let's see what happens. 973. We are one minute away, guys. 55 seconds. 55 seconds away from two at two. Everybody ready? Getting there. Getting really, really close. AMC is running right now. We are still moving in this upward channel. We are setting higher lows and higher highs. We had the George W. We have 977 as the high for the day. Currently trading at 974 as it sits right now. Currently being absolutely crushed by the bulls. Absolute bullish territory. Everybody is rocking. We are doing great here in the community. Man, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to sleep tonight after this much of an emotional roller coaster. Or maybe I will sleep very well. <laughs> Who knows? Regardless, this is this is absolutely just a blast to watch. And it's so good to see everybody in light spirits. We are 15 seconds away. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, one. That is it. So two at two. Two at two hit just as of now. Let's see what happens here with the candle. Candle's a little red. It's holding up okay. Holding up pretty okay. We're going to see what happens. We're going to see what happens. The bid size, pretty decently. It's being outweighed a little bit by the, by the asks. I'm not going to lie. We have quite a bit of selling pressure at 978. 978 is currently the high of selling pressure. 972 being the low. A lot of asks spread out evenly. Uh, 965 looks to be the highest as of now. So 965 is where we're sitting for the most the most buying at, uh, buying bids for the stock. That's how we're looking right now. Gonna read some comments. Uh, we did do the two at two just now. Appreciate everybody here that's watching the video. Does mean a lot to me. I appreciate all everybody's support. Welcome to the traders community. It is great to have you here. Please put slow mode on the chat. Let me try to do that right now. I will open the widget and see if I can do that. So live chat. Uh, do, 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 do. I think stream settings have moved. Click the edit button below to find all. All right. Let's see if I can do this right now. So live chat, enable slow mode. We will set this seconds between messages to three seconds. So I did just turn on slow mode. Thank you for the suggestion. I do appreciate that. That is good feedback. And that should help slow things down a little bit here. All right, all right, all right. Going to read through some more of this stuff real quick. Malik, oh man, I feel you. I mean, it's tough. I know that you're a bag holder right now, but this is looking promising. We're moving very nicely right now. Uh, if you can average down, that would be a good idea. Try your best to hang in there tough. I, I, I do believe very highly that we should be doing okay here. If, if this trend continues... Ben Connor, thank you very much. Leobardo, natural hitman. Just give you a shout out on TikTok. Thank you so much. You have given me so much motivation. I appreciate it, brother. Hey, I do appreciate that as well, my friend. That means a lot to me. Uh, I will continue to do what I'm doing. And you as well. You as well. I hope that you're doing well, my friend. Uh, continue to grind and you can do whatever you want to do. I really do promise you that. I started this YouTube channel back in mid-December uh, and I thought maybe I'd hit a thousand subs by the end of 2021. And here we are today, my friend. Anything is possible. Keep working. Sebastian, thank you so much. The program that I am using is Webull version 4. The recording software that I'm using is OBS. That is what I currently use. My microphone is an Elgato. My computer is an iBuyPower uh, Core i5 10th generation Intel. I enjoy it quite a bit. Very nice setup. Uh, I, I can't complain whatsoever. All right, Mike, Cody Yager. 
Metro, Metro Fetus, thank you so much. I do appreciate that very, very much. I'm so effing happy I found you. You literally been predicting the future spot on. Amazing. Sire MVIS bread early 2-1 and bought 200 shares. I trusted you immediately. Thank you. Please continue daily. I definitely will, my friend. I promise you. I've been providing this the, the same plays. The only difference now is that there are more people watching. So we're going to continue to do well, and I'm glad to have everybody here. As it sits right now with AMC, we are seeing a little bit of selling pressure. We've got a big buy wall, a bid wall at 945. So we are looking to see a hold over 945. We do have 8,000 shares at 945 as it sits right now. We did break just below that. So now 940 is the next big bid wall on the stock. Does look like we may have seen a little bit of rejection. Big uh, big sell wall currently sitting. It's adjusting very fast, but 940 is holding. 940 is holding. I don't anticipate we'll break through that uh, very easily, but we will see. We will see. It'll take a lot of selling pressure to break through 940. As it sits right now, we are still macroscopically speaking, very bullish, setting higher lows and higher highs. All right, Gabe, thank you so much. JXR Ray, I am going to try to read as many people here as I can. JXR Ray, uh, opinions on BLSP. Uh, it's not pulling up right now. BLSP, Blue Sphere. Um, I can't tell you a lot about the price action on the one-day chart, but on the one month, it looks like it could be forming a bullish flag formation, so... Uh, we will change this to a trend line right now and adjust it as so. But basically, it is it's squeezing down on price action and compressing pretty well. Uh, retracement wise, seventy eight percent. That's that's that. Uh, it looks okay. I think you're gonna get you're, you're gonna be pretty safe buying in if you get in at thirteen uh point zero one three. That is what I would say, my friend. I hope that answers your question and helps you out at least a little bit. We're gonna come back to AMC. We did see a little bit of selling pressure there. There's a little bit of selling pressure. We're going to change it back to the one-minute chart. Take a quick peek at what we're looking at. We had a large, wide-range red candle. But this is not the end of the world. This is not the end of the world. This is a small pullback. In the grand scheme of things, we have been tearing for quite some time. Not a lot of pullbacks without... Uh, we didn't have a lot of pullbacks yet, right? So we're right now looking at a retracement of 38.2%. That's very strong, guys. To have that kind of pullback is healthy. I'm actually very happy to see that we had a small pullback. That's not the end of the world because we are still setting higher lows and higher highs. Uh, we are we're looking pretty good uh, as it sits right now. It's in an upward moving channel. This is uh, there's no other way that you can say it. It looks very very nice. I I can't complain whatsoever. We have a nice gap between the 15 MA and the 200 EMA. The RSI dropped all the way down to 38. So that was a pretty harsh pullback from what we've seen in the past. We haven't seen anything like that in a little while now. So I do anticipate if this trend does continue, we will see some wide range candle bars step in. We've got a lot of buyers at 940. Quite a few buyers at 940, a lot of sellers at 950. So the new level we're looking at is gonna be $9.50. Based on the level twos, the asks are at 950. Uh, 941, we don't have very many, but there are some. So we're, we're trading in a pretty, pretty tight price zone. 930 now does appear to be the next level where there are a lot of buyers. So people are looking to get this at 930. There are 8,700 shares waiting to be filled. That should be a pretty significantly strong level. Hold strong, my friends. I promise you, this is an emotional roller coaster. I understand that. This is, uh, it's tough to watch, right? This is so crazy. This is absolutely crazy stuff. We are still up 20% on the day, my friends. We are doing great. We are doing great. You cannot complain about being up 20% uh, on the day. We are gaining back some of the losses that we accrued from the previous trading day, which we were down 40% total. Quite a few buyers at 920. We need uh, we need some buyers to hold. There are actually currently more bids than asks. The asks are being outweighed. So this is surprising to see. This is surprising to see. I, uh, I, I'm honestly shocked, especially because there are so many bids coming in on the stock. But it does look like we have a hammer candle here that could be forming. A shooting star. If we see a long bottoming tail on this candle, that does signify to me that we are looking pretty good on the day. Going to read some of these comments real quick. Coming from JXR Ray Gabe. Uh, Dimitri, I appreciate you very much. Is the SNPW at the bottom right now? I personally think so. I don't think you're going to see it go much lower than that. I have covered it in previous uh, videos and live chats, but I do like SNPW, and I think it is a, a great potential stock for the future. It might just take some time to play it out. If you can dollar cost average down, you're going to do pretty well doing so. Devin Gearing, in your hypothetical opinion, should a person buy more ATOS? That short interest is juicy. By the way, this hypothetical person is also still strong in AMC. No problem, my friend. You do you do what you'd like to do. I have no uh, no problem with that whatsoever. But ATOS, I think, is a great buy. I will say that right now. I think ATOS has a lot of 
uh, potential to squeeze pretty hard. And it honestly is just a great stock. So that is my opinion for you, my friend. Rebecca, stopping by to support a fellow soldier watching from JBLM. How about that? That's crazy. Looks like we're going up, up, up. Thank you for the support, my friend. It's great to have you here. Hope that goes well for you. Means a lot to me. I'm currently at Fort Sill in Oklahoma. I'm quarantined for Fort Bragg. Uh, not Fort Bragg, as I was. Uh, Bullock for air defense artillery. All right. Thoughts on TNSP. Thank you for the donation. I appreciate you, Devin, as well. Patty, Jeff, Ben. I appreciate all of you very much. Uh, TNSP. Or TSNP, I should say. Tesoro. Uh, Tesoro right now is looking like I would not buy it. This is uh, this is dangerous territory. I would let it run. Uh, typically, don't chase. You want to buy, buy the dips and sell the rips. And right now, it's ripping. You want to wait for a pullback. And at that point, I'd feel more comfortable with you buying in. Consistent volume, but it's extremely overbought right now, which means it is likely overvalued. So I would hold off just a little bit, my friend. Going to change this back to the one-minute chart. I do want to keep up to date with the live price action, as that is what we are here for, my friends. We are here to watch AMC do what we are waiting for it to do. Together, we can do so much more than we can do by ourselves. And I am eternally grateful for everybody here that has taken the time to watch this video, for joining the community. It is great to be here today. I am having a blast. We've been going for almost two hours, enjoying everything that we are doing. Uh, and and right now, we are ripping. We're ripping really nice. I, I like this. I like the price action a lot. Absolutely beautiful. Y'all, beware of soliciting. I'm going to read this really quick. Beware of soliciting here. And as people steering your investment away are strong. Trey, thank you so much, buddy. Oh, man. Thank you so much, my friend. And thank you for your service. I appreciate that very much. And I appreciate the donation. Patty says, thank you very much. I appreciate you. I know that you're over the Discord all the time. Spread out the buy orders. We ladder up when they ladder down. You heard her. You heard her. I am the messenger. I'm not a financial advisor. But I can read plain English. And that is some pretty... Pretty great. <laughs> Plain English. That's as good as it gets. Jeff Chase, Ben Connor, thank you so much. Scam Trey, uh, uh, thank you so much. John, I appreciate you. Guys, I know I'm, I'm skipping over some of these ticker symbols right now, but uh, I, 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 I will get to them as we get closer to the end of the day. We do see quite a bit of price action happening right now with uh, AMC. So when it is moving a lot, I want to try and cover AMC as much as I can. When it's stagnating, when it's trading sideways, we'll get more into the tickers. But uh, I know there are a lot of people right now that are interested in AMC. So we're going to try and focus on that mostly. So I will look at uh, one of these, TTOO, really quick. And then we're going to get back to AMC. But I'm just going to do this very briefly. I love TTOO. I think it's got a lot of potential. I think it's going to be a $10 stock in the near future. It is an upward moving channel. And if you're looking for a good buy, I would, I would wait for an opportunity for it to drop down to about $2.14 or so. Good level of support. Uh, it touches on a couple of different points on the charts. I'll draw this up for you so you can see it really quick at 214. That is how that looks right now. 214 is a great buying opportunity for TTOO. Coming back here to AMC. Thank you for the question, by the way. I appreciate the support. I hope that helps you out. I love the company. John Sullivan, I do appreciate you. Love the stream tray. If everything goes to plan, how high do you see AMC reaching in the squeeze? Um, so if you take, you know, where we ran from $3 up to $25.80, that's about an 800% run up. And if you see the same exact thing happen again, that would be about $10 to 80. So I, it is possible for us to see $80. I'm not, I'm not BSing you guys. The numbers are there. The short interest is there. We know that there was about 120 uh, million in short volume yesterday, February 2nd. And that is an extremely, extremely high number. We know that the available shares that, that, uh, that are utilizable is only 15%, which means 85% of the total short interest shares have been lent out by brokerage accounts, right? So, or I shouldn't say the market making system. So I will pull this up right now just to show you, right? We have this right here. Utilization, 85% currently. Uh, the the days to cover is 0.64, meaning that the shorts did currently have the edge, right? They could cover in a very short amount of time, but we have a high amount of overall short interest, 120 million total short volume. We have the setup. It is very possible. And the chart setup looks very similar to what we've seen previously with Volkswagen and some other stocks. Volkswagen and GameStop. Look at this right here. Very similar setup. We could be looking at a very similar setup to that Volkswagen squeeze. Of course, we don't live in a vacuum. This is not guaranteeing this, that this does happen, but it does look like a good setup. And it looks like the potential is there. Ben Connor, I'm going to read some of these guys off. I do appreciate everybody. I try to read everybody that does send me a super chat, as I do immensely appreciate it. John, I appreciate you. Ben, Willie, uh, Nick, James, Devin Gearing, I appreciate you as well. Uh, Trout Dota, Moles, Error, Atriel, Austin, Jamie, 
Brandon, thank you guys so, so much. I do appreciate all of your guys' support. Uh, and welcome to the traders community. It's great to have everybody here. Right now, the stock is trading pretty sideways, right? Uh, so we do have a large uh, buy wall at 935. That is where we're currently sitting. So the bid on 935 is high. I don't anticipate dropping below that. It is 16,000 total shares, which is extremely, extremely high. That'd be a very hard level of support to push through. Uh, as far as sales go, 945 is the current that is the highest level. So trading in a pretty tight price zone right now. And if you break above or below either of these levels, it should be pretty violent. Broke beneath this ascending level of uh, support. So that was a nice upward channel that we rode for a long time. But macroscopically speaking, we are still riding a very nice upward channel. So check this out. Looks pretty clean, guys. If we take this one asterisk out of the way, one, two, three. Maybe four different touch points here. So we're looking pretty good. We've got a large buy wall at 930. If we do end up dropping down there, I'm going to pull this up right now. 930. That would intersect perfectly with that trend line. So I don't mind that whatsoever. Looking pretty good. And actually, this is a George W right here. This could be a, this could end up being a triple bottom. If we have a triple bottom, that would be monumental. That is extremely, extremely bullish. I would love to see that. Uh, I'm going to... Draw up a new square for us so that we can see exactly what I'm talking about. There's one bottom, two bottoms, and a third bottom right here. Looks pretty solid, guys. I don't mind how that looks. I don't mind how this looks whatsoever. All right. Coming in from Brandon. They may have trapped us. Got us so low in price that people will sell anytime it's higher than $10. Psychologically, we, have, we are already defeated. Bye-bye. That is the only thing that we can do, my friends. I'm telling you right now. Hope is not lost. Hope is not lost. I'm telling you that right now. The only thing that we can do, right, is, is is come together as a community, right, and as a team to push this to happen, right? So we know the numbers. We know that the hedge funds and the institutions, what they're trying to do. They're trying to bankrupt these companies. They're trying to bankrupt GameStop and AMC for their own gain. I want to read you guys something really quick. This is actually really, really scary. The anatomy of a short attack. Check this out. Abusive shorting are not random acts of a renegade hedge fund, but rather a coordinated business plan that is carried out by a collusive consortium of hedge funds and prime brokers with help from their funds at the DTC and major clearing houses. Potential target companies are identified, analyzed, and prioritized. The attack is planned to its most minute detail. The plan consists of taking a large short position, then crushing the stock price, and if possible, putting the company into bankruptcy. Bankrupting the company is a short home run because they never have to buy real shares to cover, and they don't pay taxes on the ill-gotten gain. When it is time to drive the stock price down, a blitzkrieg is unleashed against the company by a cabal of short hedge funds and prime brokers. The end game, right? I'm going to show this to you. The end game for them is to bankrupt the company. And that is because they don't have to pay taxes and uh, on their gains and they don't have to buy back the real shares. Absolutely insane. And that is what they're trying to do right now. And the ramifications of that are insane. The ramifications of that happens, guys, is a lot of retail workers lose their jobs. A lot of retail investors redistribute wealth back to the 1%, which could really, really affect the market, and they don't care. They did. They weren't willing to own up to their losses. They weren't willing to own up to the fact that they lost money. Instead, they're doubling down on their possessions and saying, and their positions and saying, dude, um, you know what? Screw you guys. We think we're going to win. We're going to drain every last penny out of this company, out of you retail investors, and we're going to win this fight, and we don't care who we crush in the meantime. And the only thing we can do to stand up to that, guys, is to work together. Now, I'm not saying that you need to do as I say, say as I do, right? I'm not a financial advisor. This is not advice. But if that's the end goal for you and you truly feel convicted about that end goal, you think it's possible, you think that's the end game, holding and buying is all that you can possibly do. I've been adding to my position every opportunity that I have, guys. I've sold uh, a lot of different... Uh, so I get free stocks off of Webull, right? Every single free stock that I've got, I've been selling. I sold my gold, ADT, Yelp, Zynga. And you can see that I'm buying AMC immediately after that. I'm doing this over and over and over again because I want to contribute to this cause. I very firmly believe in this in this cause. I, I, think it's, I think it's worth fighting for. I do 100% believe it is worth fighting for. So that is what I think. If you want to make a difference here, buy and hold is the answer. That is what I have for you today. I'm going to scroll down here. Read some more of these. Uh, read some names off. Grievy. Uh, Cammy, Joshua, I appreciate you very much. Soul, soul loser, Jake. You're not a loser, my friend. You're not a loser. I promise you. You're a good dude. Let's do this. Glad I found this channel. You're killing. It. I have 4,000 shares of AMC. Dang, you're killing right now. That's insane. That's a lot of shares, man. You got way more than I do. <laughs> Jake Gerard, 
Dan Busby. So happy for your viral success the last few days. Much love, my brother. I appreciate that, man. Dan Busby. Is that name familiar? I feel like I've heard that name before. One second here. I want to check something out. Holy cow. Thanks. I appreciate that, my friend. That's cool. That's good stuff. All right. All right. All right. Coming back here to the chat bar. All right. Uh, you're doing pretty well with your channel too, my friend. I'm, I'm happy for you. Okay. Uh, Nick Trey, check out the fake news. LMAO. I love this. Squeeze soon. Is there news out right now? Is there news out right now? I'm going to look up AMC stock news real quick. AMC stock news. All right. Why AMC Entertainment stock jumped 14% out of the gate today? I doubt that's it. Uh, maybe on Twitter. So we see what we have here on Twitter real quick. See if we have anything. Typically, Market Watch posts some absolute crap, but um, not seeing anything yet. White House says review underway after testing negative. If you guys have a link, please drop it. I will I will very gladly check that out. Uh, but as it sits right now, man, she's really starting to sell off. And what's surprising to me is there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, buy orders right here. It's very greatly outweighed by the by the uh, the sells. That doesn't. We've got a huge wall at nine dollars. So this should not drop below nine dollars. Not not at least now, because we have a lot more size coming in right now on the bid the bid side of things compared to the ask. In terms of retracement, we're going to find out the strength of this pullback. 50% is ideal, and we are currently at 61.8. So not quite super strong. That's a little harsh of a pullback. We've been oversold for a minute now. We're looking for a little more buying to come back into the stock. All right, Rose Colored Productions, Chilled Groves, James, thank you guys so much. HCMC barcoding. Been waiting to buy in at .0014. HCMC is going to be a great stock, man. Honestly, uh, I think you're going to do... This is a very barcode -ish stock just because of uh, the, the the price that it sells at. But this is how it always trades, my friend. You're not going to see it do anything else. I think the best buying opportunity... I put a video out on this, but 0 .0014 was the time. Um, if you're going to get in now and you're, you don't want to wait, it'd be 0 .0015. That's probably your best opportunity, my friend. But just be careful. That's all I have to say. Chilled Groves, James Malden, thank you guys so much. It's it's your boy, Don Baloney. You are the truest dude. Big love from London. We're killing it together. I appreciate that, my friend. We're always a team, my uh, my guys and my, my guys and gals, and we don't do this alone. I will never take full credit for anything. We are not uh, apes, apes alone strong. Apes, uh, oh wait, I said that wrong. <laughs> apes alone weak, apes together is strong, and that is how it will always be. James Malden, new to trading. What do you think is a good ballpark estimate of how much you should be investing in order to make enough to replace a $15 per hour job? Great question. <clears throat> so the thing about investing, my friends, is if you truly want to see wealth and safe returns, you have to have a pretty decent amount of money in your portfolio. So let's say that you make a 10% return on your portfolio per month and you have $10,000 in there. Well, that means you're making $1,000 a month. So it depends on how, how how confident you are with your investment and how much money you need. So if you want to replace a $15 an hour job, uh, let's just assume that that you make, you know, 15 working 40 hours a week times four weeks in a month, 2,400 bucks. You would probably need about $240,000 in your account to average 10% a week. And that's, that's usually pretty solid. 10% a week is a lot uh, in order to replace a $15 an hour job. Hope that answers your question, my friend. You have to be related to TJ Miller. <laughs> Love the channel. Wishing you nothing but success. TJ Miller, huh? TJ Miller. Wow. I, didn't, I look a lot like that guy. What? That's crazy. I don't think so, but I guess I wouldn't be surprised. That's kind of funny. Dang. All right. Thank you very much, by the way, Christian. I appreciate you. Nimby and Chris as well. Uh, can you take a look at NVAX? I did look at this earlier in the day, but I will take one quick peek at it for you real quick. We are trying to focus on AMC, just so that you know. But uh, NVAX is running pretty hard right now. That looks good. Dang, yeah. It's really gone to town. 
Um, I wouldn't buy in right now, though. It's, I mean, when it's running this much, you're really, really running a risk. Just macroscopically speaking, it's run up a lot in the last five days. So I'd just be very, very careful. That's my personal opinion, my friend. Dave Portnoy switched his position from GME to AMC, according to Fox. 700K in on AMC. Let's go. We got to check this out right now. That is some breaking news, my man. Thank you for that. Let's pull this up. Going to come back over to AMC. AMC is trading at 918. Going to zoom in here on the one-minute chart. And we have a nice wide-range candle bar. We're going to pull up this news article that was very, very thankfully brought up to me by Chris uh, Hernandez. Thank you, Chris, for dropping that news article. We will check that out right now. So let's take a quick read for everybody. This could be some breaking news. Barstool's Portney put 700K into AMC shares following squeeze trade losses. The Barstool Sports founder said he has invested in AMC, Nokia, and Naked Brand shares on Wednesday. Oh, Nokia, I should say. Nokia, that's huge. Dave Portney uh, bought back shares of AMC after losing 700000 following squeeze trades. The, Bar the Barstool Sports president and founder told Fox Business on Wednesday that he got out of all heavily shorted stocks on Tuesday, but bought back some of the movie theater company stock on because he saw AMC going back out. I put in 700000 in AMC this morning. And he added that he is already up 60000 on his investment. Dang, I have officially sold all my meme stocks. I lost 700 k ish Vlad and company stole it from me and should be in jail. When Varney asked when he would get out of the stock, he responded, that's all feel. I think it could have another run. The big question with it is, obviously, is that this stock has been restricted. Today, I don't think it is so. It's a little bit of a guessing game what's going to happen. This is not fundamentals. This is just watching the ball bounce, black, red, or green, in a roulette wheel. Man, that's scary to think about, but... That's reassuring. I mean, anytime that you watch these big money guys, people pay attention to that. People pay attention to the news, what uh, what celebrities are doing. And he's got a lot of followers, my friends. And for him to say that could very well influence the situation here. I, I feel very, very confident in that, honestly. And we do see a nice reversal. This is a filthy, filthy wide range candle bar right here. This is nice. That looks really, really good right now. I love that. That is, that is, oh, that's sexy. It does look like we might see a reversal here. We currently are looking at the RSI trading at 46. Uh, the bottom was at $9. That did hold up. A lot of buys came in at $9. The current wall that we're going to be looking at is about 929, which we do currently have a level of resistance at. That is where we see the most sellers stepping in. That's where we see the most asks, which is 9,000 total shares. So that is going to be a tough level to push through as of now. Oh, you were you were 144.88 out of Fort Hood. How about that? Small community idiot. Thank you for what you're doing. I appreciate that, my friend. That's awesome. I, uh, Iraq, huh? I don't think I'll ever end up deploying to re Iraq. I think, uh, pretty likely Germany, uh, Korea. I know that Japan, people get stationed out there pre periodically, but, uh, yeah, I appreciate the service, my friend. And thank you for the kind words. I'm excited. I'm excited for sure. Don't you think the hedgies are making lower bids to counteract the coordinated buys on the hours? It's very possible, man. I, I think they're doing everything they possibly can since the SSR is in place. It's absolutely insane. All right. Uh, okay, okay. Ayub, thank you very much. Thank you as well. Uh, I'm going to say your last name, Wood. I, I appreciate you very much. David Gonzalez, I will look at Watt really quick. Thank you so much for the super chat. I do appreciate you immensely. That does mean a lot to me. Welcome to all the new traders that are watching the Traders Podcast right now, the live price action on uh, AMC. We do appreciate you being here. It does mean a lot to me. Uh, we will quickly check out Watt. I'm going to look at this on a three-month chart. And Watt looks pretty decent. It isn't a nice upward moving channel right now. So we're going to drop a quick trend line. And as it sits, it looks pretty good. Uh, if it continues on that trend line over the next couple of weeks, I would not be surprised to see this hit levels around, I would say, 378 is a low. If you're looking to buy in, I would think you know, $3.42 is probably going to treat you pretty well. That is a nice level of support right here. $3.42. That's what I'm going to roll with, my friend. I hope that answers your question. RSI currently trading at 50. We have a large gap between the 15 MA and the 200 EMA. Very bullish territory. It's been on a bullish run for quite a while. And uh, I think it'll continue. I do think it'll continue. Nice gap here between the uh, ascending level of support. All right, guys. I'm going to get a quick drink of water. My throat is uh, getting pretty dry. I definitely need to... Uh, to take care of that. It's been a minute since I've hydrated. So I'm going to be right back. And uh, thank you, guys. I, it'll just be one minute here.
All right. We are back, guys. Thank you for the patience. This is hard on the throat. I can't lie. I can't lie. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of work on the YouTube channel. I am in quarantine right now out at Fort Sill, waiting for um, waiting for the, the quarantine to be over so that I can start training. Um, but things are looking pretty good right now. We're going to come back here to AMC. Take another look at this. Thank you to Mike, by the way. I do appreciate you. I appreciate the, the super chat, and I'm glad that I can help you out. I'm learning a ton from you. He says, thank you so much for doing this. I do appreciate that. Uh, I genuinely enjoy doing this. For me, it's like playing on the monkey bars. I honestly love talking with everybody here. I love looking at charts. I'm passionate about the market. I'm passionate about this situation, this cause. I really do like it a lot. As it sits right now, we're looking at a nice bit. We're not a nice one, but a big uh, sell wall at 940. There's quite a few uh, orders there. That's a big size, 18,000 total. So 940 is going to be tough to break through. We're going to look for more bids to step in here and fix that uh, situation. Sorry to ask again. What do you think of uh, Alibaba pre ANT IPO? It's all good, my friend. So I actually, I don't know. I know Alibaba had quite a few issues. Um, I think they've been on a bullish run lately. Yeah, they're trading a little bit sideways right now. I'm not sure about the IPO that you're talking about. But how the charts look, in my opinion. And I'm sorry, that I, I always try to be honest with people. I don't know a lot about the... Alibaba situation that you're talking about. This isn't a stock that I follow very closely, but what I can tell you is how the charts look and the charts are trading just a little bit sideways. Um, I anticipate this would probably be a better swing trade than anything. We, we are, we do see a little bit of reversal, right? We have the 15 MA that's crossed over the 200 EMA as of right now. Um, but it is setting lower lows with these candle wicks, which is a little bit concerning. So uh, just take that for what it is, my friend. Uh, I think if you're looking for a swing trade opportunity until you see a break, over probably, I would say, 273. A break in a hold over 273 will signify to me that it's getting ready to move again. All right, coming back here to AMC. Currently trading at 927, up 18.5% on the day. And we saw a nice bounce here off of that $9 range. Currently, a no big, uh, no big sell walls, but a big buy wall at 920. So we're going to look here at 920. This is where they have the most buying opportunities at 22,182 shares. That should be a nice little push. And the rest of these asks are being filled uh, pretty much spread out across uh, a lot of these different numbers. So I anticipate if this does hold, uh, 21,000 shares at 920 should be a significant push when those do get filled. Brennan, Joseph, Kivion, thank you guys so much. Uh, let's take a quick peek here. What kind of canned water is that? This is, uh, this is Diet Mountain Dew. <laughs> it's the best kind of canned water. Oh man, do the do, I guess, you know? Joseph, you're God's gift to mankind. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. I do enjoy this though. It is a lot of fun. I love chatting with everybody here. Uh, I, I'm very eternally grateful for all the traders that have joined the community as of today. Holy Toledo, we have 19,000 people here right now. That is insane. Almost 10,000 likes. You guys all rock. If you want to do me one small favor, this is all that I ask is please drop a like on the video uh, because we like this stock and apes together strong, baby. That's all I ask. Barstool invested 700,000. I did cover that. I did cover that. That's huge news. Also, thank you for the, uh, the super chat. I do appreciate that a lot. Um, that is right here, Barstool. So that would be Portnoy. Pretty good stuff. Peter, Len, Operation, Matthew, uh, Nino, Joran, Brandon. Thank you guys so much for the the uh the super chats as well. I do appreciate that immensely. I am going to cover Operation uh Katana real quick. When AMC to ten dollars. I wish that I could answer that, my friend, but I cannot give you a, a honest opinion on to when this is going to happen. All that I can tell you right now is that this is still macroscopically bullish. We've got a gap here between the 15 MA and the 200 EMA. We are still moving on an upward channel. The volume is still high. Currently, the RSI is a little bit below 50, but it is moving upwards. So we are starting to step back up into that bullish territory and push into newer highs. If we break over 977, guys, $10 will be the next step. I feel very, very good about that. Okay, Matthew Dalton, what is the timeline for the AMC shorts to cover and for the squeeze to begin? So, options expiring, they have to cover sometime within the next week. Actual shorting, right? Actually selling um, physical shares or counterfeit shares, either way, 
That's different from the options. So they can cover back any time, but the difference is that they have to pay back interest on every single day that they hold their position. So the more we can push the stock price up and the more we can push uh, and, and squeeze and, and put pressure on the shorts, the, the less likely we are to see them hold that and actually cover back. So that's my opinion, my friend. Can you clarify your comments about BlackRock taking a new position? The 13G that was filed for Q4 of 2020 and does not indicate any new BlackRock position. I definitely can clarify on that right now. So I will look up right now BlackRock AMC and I will show you that. Uh, do 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 do. BlackRock, um, where are we looking? Is this it? So I know there's a link somewhere here. Looking for the link to that BlackRock. Uh, I'm going to actually just type that in. BlackRock 13G uh, AMC. All right. This should be raw filing contents. So if we take a quick peek here. BlackRock right there. Business address AMC. SEC uh, SC 13 G they increased their stake by 59% if I remember correctly so if we take a quick peek here uh 13 G uh, AMC entertainment was the issuer uh class a common stock and it was to BlackRock and if we look here sold depositive power 6.21 million they have 5.7 percent total stake in the company and this was signed uh by BlackRock on February 2nd of 2021. Previously, we know that they had a stake of uh, about 59% less than that. So it doesn't say the exact amount that they purchased, but simply that they have now a stake of uh, 60 or 6.2 million total shares. And there's a date up here on the top from December, if I remember right. So we're going to pull this up if I can find it. Uh, December 31st, 2020. So that I, that's my guess as to when they started talking about this overall. Um, so that's, I hope that answers your question. It gives you some clarification, my friend. Joran, thank you so much for the, uh, for the comment and the super chat. I do appreciate that. I will cover GME real quick for you. Is it similar to AMC and do you see a squeeze happening? I don't think that GME is a dead cat yet. I, I do not think it is. It's consolidating right now. Consolidation typically favors buyers at least a little bit and it is an upward moving channel. So look at that. That looks very, very clean to me. I don't mind how that looks whatsoever. Um, yeah, and, and it's actually squeezing down from the top too. So check this out. Quite a few touch points. That's actually coming up on a very critical couple minutes. Um, and given the overall trend, which is extremely, extremely bullish, I would anticipate that uh you likely see a continuation. I mean, that's a lot of touch points, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're looking for a candle wick there. If it breaks down, it's probably gonna sell hard. So you want to see a push above this de descending level of resistance. That is how GameStop is currently looking right now. As for AMC, we're going to connect some dots right here. See what we are looking at in terms of overall growth and uh, levels of support. And this is lining up pretty well. One, two, three, four, five different touch points. And we do anticipate that this is going to continue here uh, into the day and at least hold off on that ascending level of support. And on the flip side, we do have what appears to be a descending level of resistance. So another uh, a very similar squeeze opportunity here where, where we are pushing down and condensing on price action. Uh, we do still have a gap between the 15 MA and the 200 EMA. Looking good. Volume is down a little bit from what we've seen earlier in the day when it was pushing really hard. Our side, just a hair below neutral at 43. Uh, the, the level twos, we're looking at 910 currently is where we're seeing the most buys. So if we put this up to 910, and the most sales being at 915. So we're trading in a pretty tight window right here. 910, I think, is where you're going to see a lot of, of orders filled. So I'm, I think people are anticipating this drops a little bit and trying to get it for as cheap as they possibly can. But uh, there's a lot of uh, a lot of pressure here between these two levels. So that's what we're looking at right now with AMC. Thank you, Brandon Sides. Everybody, oh, man, I really wish I could get to everybody's comments. I do appreciate so, so much, everybody, that has taken the time to watch the videos here today. Uh, Mangled Mango, like the stream because we like AMC. He said it. Listen to the man. Listen to the man. I appreciate you, my friend. All right, all right. And I give a couple more thanks to some people on here. Uh, I do appreciate everybody. Slow TV Vancouver. I'm not sure why the message is retracted, but I do appreciate the donation, my friend. Sides, love the actual analytics you're bringing to these people. Here's a logo I made for your channel. Oh, I got to check this out. 
I'm going to pull this up on the side screen here and uh, see what we're looking at. Dude! <laughs> that looks sick! Guys, look at that. What? Man, what are you doing? Sides? You didn't have to do that, man. That looks sick. Holy cow. Dude, find me on Twitter. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you my Twitter real quick. And if you want to find me on Twitter, I will very gladly compensate you for that if you want to sell it to me. You don't have to, but of course, I do think that looks pretty sick, and I'd be very willing to uh, compensate you accordingly. My uh, my Twitter handle is Trades Trey. T-R-A-D-E-S-T-R-E-Y. I, uh, I love that, my friend. Thank you so much for that. That means a lot. That means a lot to me. I can't believe that. That's the coolest thing ever. <laughs> you don't have to do that, man. That's sick. All right, Chad, Andrew, th thoughts on Fubo? I love Fubo. Fubo is a great company. I think it has a lot of potential to, I like their streaming services, the idea of the sports streaming. I think there's a lot of potential here for sure. I've got a really big box on this right now, apparently, uh, but I'm going to delete that. So as it sits right now, you said you've got 60 and 65 calls for Friday. Ah, uh, that's going to be hard. I'm not going to guarantee that happens. I'm going to be honest. If you're up right now, I'd consider possibly taking. It is moving, but I can't guarantee you it's going to hit 60 bucks. It's it's up, it's up to you at the end of the day, but uh, that's that's going to be a tough swing. Going to scroll down here so I can keep up with everybody. Going to going to give uh, props at least to everybody that uh, took the time to give me a super chat. I do appreciate everybody. Uh, Andrew Towley, Travis McCormick, Kevin uh, Glacemia, thank you so much. Harley Wisteria, Cole Riddick, Ivan AJ. Uh, Lon Amateur, Nicholas, and Jonathan. Appreciate everybody so, so much. We're going to come back here to AMC, and I will read a couple more comments as uh, we do uh, give you a quick update on the stock because we do like this stock. We have to give you the most up-to-date information with the stock that we like. Uh, Apes Together Strong. Strong spelled T-S-T-R-O-N-K. Man, I can't talk right now. I got a drink. I need some hydration. Guys, I think this is the most people I've ever had on a live stream. I'm eternally grateful for you guys. This is crazy. So, we're going to check out uh, GME first because not a lot has changed with AMC. Still floating around that same price point. But for anybody that has a position in GameStop, we will take a peek here. And it does look like we broke that, uh, that top, that descending level of resistance. Wide range candle bar. Looks good. Got a lot of uh, sell orders at 103.25 which is where we're at right now. So that's going to be a big level of resistance to watch for. Keep that in the back of your mind if you do decide to trade this stock. If you are in this stock, that is what we're looking at right now. And that's still a pretty tight price zone. So it does look like we could continue to see a squeeze here down the road. That is what we're looking at right now. Not a lot of bids coming in. Now we do. 5008 at $103. That is huge. That is huge, huge, huge. So $103, you've got $5,000. Uh, fill orders trying to get filled, so that's pretty. That's pretty monumental. Coming back here to AMC, let's find it uh, on the ticker real quick. AMC. All right, gonna read some comments while this loads. Uh, can I check out OCGN? So I will check out OCGN right after this. We did see a break above that uh, that descending level of resistance. Currently looking pretty solid. Uh, OCGN, this is one of those plays. I think that was a company, if I remember right, that uh, had some COVID vaccines for India, which is the second most populous country in the world. And uh, they had, oh, they, they ran pretty hard today. So this is a buy the hype, sell the news kind of play. That is exactly what it is. Anytime that they have any press release talking about their current situation. And if I had to guess, if I looked at their news right now, I would bet you see something similar. Yep. Why it's plunging today. So they're, they're a COVID play, right? So they had a huge run up. They're plunging because it's a buy the hype, sell the news play. That's 100% what it is. Uh, that's my personal opinion. I hope that answers your question. If you're up right now, I would consider taking profits personally. Coming back to AMC. I made you a video also, but not sure how to send it. Jonathan Myers. You, um, you made me a video. What's the video, my man? You can send it to me over by my Twitter. I don't know if you're if you're able to send videos, but I know you can send pictures. So if you can send videos, that should work out okay. Otherwise, I do have an Instagram as well. I will show you my Instagram if you are interested. The uh, 
The account is Trey underscore Collins underscore zero zero one. This is me right here. Uh, you can you can do whatever you please here and uh, just check it out. And I can definitely get back to any messages that you are interested in sending me. So that is what I have for that. Going to come back here to the stock. J. Rue, thank you so much for uh, for the the super chat. Going to give props to everybody here. Thank you for that. J. Rue, Justin, the ex Mr. Bob, Mr. Bob, <laughs> Clarissa, Chris, uh, best non financial advisor on the web. <laughs> I appreciate that, my friend. All right, Travis, uh, Gary Porter. That is my girlfriend. I love her to death. I love her to death. Her name's Sarah. I do plan on marrying her someday. I love Mavis too, though, but uh, but Sarah has has my uh, my full attention. Last time I said that on a live stream, people called me a simp, but call me a simp if you want. I don't mind. Mavis. Oh, yeah, baby. She's still doing good. We covered this in the live stream earlier today. It is doing a little bit of a pullback, but it touched a new high, guys. 984. Oh, man. I was so pumped. I put this out, guys. I put this out two days ago. I said MBIS is going to crank. It's getting ready to rip right now. So I'm so glad that everybody is getting in on this. This looks absolutely beautiful. So beautiful. Oh, man. Thank you for bringing that up, Karsten. Ivan, thoughts on Naked and Brian. Will you be streaming about AMC the rest of the week? I will be continuing to stream about AMC for the rest of the week for anybody that is interested in going along with that. Man, you guys are blowing up my Instagram right now. Holy crap. <laughs> I guess I should have mentioned it earlier. That is insane. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Wild. You guys are going nuts. <laughs> Thank you very much. Anyways, I will check out uh, Naked really quick. All right, we will stream for a little while longer. We have been going for two and a half hours, and then I think I am going to head out here uh, and cover a couple more videos later in the day. I will be uh, doing some some streams for patron exclusives uh, over for them, but I do appreciate you guys watching. If you could do me one favor, we'll stick around for another five to ten minutes. Please, please, please just drop a like on the video. It really does mean a lot to me. It helps the algorithm. It does a lot of great things. Uh, and, man, you guys are really showing some love to the Instagram. Uh if you guys want to check that out, I will drop a link here and just pin that on the top. Uh, but that that is insane. You guys all rock. Trey Collins 001. That is the account for you. I'm probably not even going to be able to pin this, but I appreciate you so much, my guys. That is insane. I, I appreciate it so much. Anyways, coming back here to AMC. As it, uh, or not AMC, Naked. So Naked had a really nice run up. They squeezed a little bit here, compressing a price action, dip below. And as it sits right now, they're still, you know, they were in a downward channel, broke out of it, which is good. So you see this downward channel, right? You can see this uh, overall downward selling pressure. Ended up breaking beneath that, came back up. And then we broke over this descending level of resistance, which is good. You see a nice wide range candle bar, opens above it. And now we are in an upward uh, and ascending channel. This is a new level of support that is riding along on this stock, which is good. So if you believe in Naked as a company, you think you want to get in, you believe in the in the hold long term, I think you can get this at a better price than $1.26. Personally, I would wait for a pullback to $1.24 or $1.18 uh, as it sits now. Probably $1.18 the most likely. And that is what we are looking at right at this moment. All right, all right. Thank you for the donations, everybody. Brian McColl, uh, will you be live streaming about AMC? As, as I said, yes, I will. Uh, Joe, thank you. Chris, Dylan, Brian, Seth Taylor, uh, Devin Gilbert. Thank you guys so much uh, for the donations. I will read a couple more of these. Can I check out Fuel Cell? I will check out Fuel Cell. We're going to come back to AMC. Give a quick update on this. Large sell wall at 930, which is going to act as a new level of resistance for the stock. And then a big buy wall at 920. So another tightening up of price action here. This is still closing down pretty hard. Uh, I, I've got a good feeling. This is looking good. There's a lot of there's a lot of buyers stepping in. 915, there's a lot of buyers. So 915 now is a, a new solid buy wall. We got a lot of people stepping in to fill some orders. Looks good. Fuel cell. Fuel cell is a great company. I do think these guys have potential to be a $45 to $50 stock by the end of the year. Currently trading at $23. If you look at them on the one month chart, their all time high is 25 and they're getting ready to retest that right now. They just broke above this level of resistance and a retest of 25 bucks guys is likely going to give us $30 if they finally do break, man, you guys are absolutely blowing up my phone right now. It's, it's literally going insane. I can't believe how many people are, uh, <laughs> are just, just cranking down on my Instagram. Jesus, Jesus, Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Maybe it was a mistake to show that. All right. So. 
Dylan, thoughts on after hours pre-market for AMC? I think AMC is going to do pretty well in the after hours. Of course, I, I, I have been wrong in the past, but it had a pretty good day today. And if we keep with the overall trend, SSR, I don't think will lift until tomorrow. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, guys, but I do think that it will continue to run. Uh, we are not looking bad right now. We're still in an upward moving channel with AMC. Look at this. Macroscopically speaking, we are still setting higher lows and higher highs. Uh, we do have a double top right here, which is typically a bearish indicator, but we do have an ascending double bottom right here, which is a George, George W. We got the George W, which is a good sign. I absolutely love that. Not bad whatsoever. Um, and it is squeezing down on price action right now. So look at this. If we, if we adjust this overall level of resistance, just a hair, and you draw up a small trend line like this. Microscopically speaking, we are really, really closing down right now on some pretty nasty action. I feel really good about what's going down right now, guys. In the next five to ten minutes, you should see a pretty hard push on the stock. Man, you guys just do, you will not stop blowing up my Instagram. <laughs> this is so insane. You guys are crazy. You guys are so crazy. Man, thank you so much for everybody. I, I really genuinely mean that. All right. Brian, I really do appreciate that you personally anticipate more ladder attacks tomorrow. It is possible, but the only thing that we can do is continue to buy and hold. That is going to be the end game here. Uh, if you do continue to do that, the shorts are going to keep shorting. And eventually, guys, they're going to get caught with their pants down. And when they get caught with their pants down, it is going to hurt. It's going to really, really burn them. The longer they play in the fire here, the more they're going to get burned. And it is only a matter of time until they end up getting squeezed. That is my personal opinion. Seth Taylor, thank you so much. Devin, I do appreciate you. We should reach out to Hollywood to investment in AMC. It's in their best interest. Tweet your favorite actors. Man, that'd be so crazy. I know. I know. I'll do my best. Should we do it right now? Should we tweet at Elon Musk? <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it. We'll tweet at Elon Musk. This is my Instagram for anybody that missed it. You don't have to follow it, but everybody is already doing it anyway. So Trey underscore Collins underscore zero zero one. Um, but we are going to tweet at Elon Musk because why not? Elon Musk. Please buy AMC and also name your next um, rocket the uh, your next space. Gosh, I can't type space dot uh, SpaceX rocket. The same. You're the man. Love the. Uh, lifestyle and uh, character, brother. Now, I doubt he's going to pay attention to this. I only have 5,000 followers. I say 5,000 only, but that's absolutely mind-blowing to me. But we'll see what happens. Please buy AMC. Um, I will name my firstborn son whatever you wish in return. <laughs> All right, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens, my friends. Coming back here to AMC. We're going to take a look here. Uh, we are currently looking at holding in this, uh, this ascending level of support in the short term, right? The last 15 minutes, we've seen this squeezing down on price action. Looking absolutely beautiful. Going to read some, uh, some more names off here. For everybody that's taking the time to, to give me a super chat, I do appreciate you. It does not go unnoticed. I genuinely appreciate everybody's time here. Devin, as I said, uh, Kasim, I am using... Uh, this is, this is Weeble version 4 for the desktop. It is absolutely free to download. I've got a link in the description box down below if you are interested in uh, getting four free stocks with a $100 deposit. If not, I don't care. I promise you I am doing 100% fine for myself. I'm just glad to have you guys here to be a part of the traders community. Unnamed Exodus. If there are so many people buying this morning, why don't we see spikes? Man, you already know the answer. I promise you. Market manipulation. They're doing everything they're in their power to absolutely control what is going on with the stock right now. And guys, it is only a matter of time in my eyes. We will see what happens. But I, I have a lot of faith in, in this stock doing something eventually. And this is going to be the beginning. This could be a good step in the right direction. We are up 17% on the day with AMC. Very, very happy with the price action. Going to read off Lala. Thank you so much. Brooke, Chris Tate, the gray area, Donal, Fire Bison. Going to come back up here. Thomas Mahoney, Joe Flores, Zach, and Gordy. Thank you guys so much. I do appreciate that very, very much. Can we see my man Dogecoin and some crypto for a sec? I can't. I don't know if I can pull up Dogecoin on um, Robinhood. I don't think so. But I will pull it up on Yahoo Finance for just a second so that I can give you an idea of what we're looking at. Dogecoin. Let's pull up Doge stock. 
This isn't something that I particularly invest in, but don't let that deter you. It is up 6% so far on the day. I'll give you a quick peek at the charts. So Dogecoin as it sits right now, uh, doing some consolidating, it's trading sideways, nothing crazy. Uh, pretty tight price zone. If I had to draw up something real quick, it does appear at least a little bit that we are starting to squeeze down and, and uh, tighten up on price action. So you can see that there's a descending level of uh, resistance right here and an ascending level of support. Typically, typically means that you're seeing uh, some consolidation. Typically favors buyers a little bit. So that's how we're looking right now. Uh, I, I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. All right. Thanks for your videos, Trey. I saw your other video on Sens. I bought it at 265. What's your insight on that ticker? Sens is a great company. I think if you hold that for one, two, three months, you're going to see an insane amount of return. Buying it at 265, you're looking good right now, man. You're not looking bad at all. Uh, overall price action, a little bit barcodish, a little bit barcodish, but you bought it at the right time. Oh, you bought it at the exact bottom. That's perfect, man. You're fine. You're fine. In fact, this is squeezing down. Besides the barcoding, which is ugly, uh, it's it's tightening up. And that typically, it means that you're going to see some pretty violent movement in the future. I bet you tomorrow you're going to see some pretty nasty moves. That's my opinion. Going to come back here to AMC. Currently trading at 915. Does look like it broke beneath. Uh, Might have been a false break. We see a hammer candle. Uh, looking to hold, what are, the, what are the level two saying? 920, quite a few sells. So 920, we're seeing quite a few sells at 12,949 shares. That's going to be tough to push through. But we do have a fair amount at 906, which should hold us up pretty well. 906 as it sits right now. Going to read off a couple more here. Thank you, Gordy. Thank you, Glossemia. Risk McDaniel. That means a lot, my friend. I have 2K of Tell. What do you think of Tell? Uh, I'll check it out real quick. Tell on the one month chart looks pretty good. Hold, hold big time. It's fine. It's just getting ready to rocket for the next uh, the next leg up. We haven't seen any harsh moves yet. It hasn't even been overbought. Volume's consistent. Uh, the 15 MA is over the 200 EMA. Continue to run it. You are looking absolutely beautiful, my friend. Thank you, Peter. I appreciate you. Hey, Trey, congrats on all your success. Can you please touch on the fact that hedge funds can still borrow stocks if you're involved in stock lending income program? I disabled mine on Webull. I didn't even know that. What? How do you do that? Does anybody know? Stock lending program. Well, now I need to know. Well, all right. So we need to say that right now. We need to say that right now. So apparently... There is a uh, there is an issue with Webull and other brokerages coming from Peter here. Can you please touch on the fact that hedge funds can still borrow stocks if you're involved in stock lending income program? So you want to disable that. Make sure that you disable that. Otherwise, this does allow hedge funds to borrow your your shares. I will be figuring out how to do that once I get out this live stream and make sure that you do the same. That's a big 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 deal. Thank you, Peter, for sharing that with everybody here. All right, everybody. I am going to thank everybody one last time. Uh, I, I, I am going to wrap up this live stream. We have been going for two hours and 40 minutes. I'm extremely grateful for everybody here. I will be posting a video update today. I will be posting an update with the most recent news, the things that are going to be affecting AMC's stock price. It will be a good lengthy video, very in detail, 20 to 30, 30 minutes long, covering everything that I think you need to know about the current price action, the current news, what could be affecting the stock price, Things to keep in mind, the total short interest, the total uh, utilization, uh, what we're going to be looking at into tomorrow, and the whole nine yards. So I really sincerely, sincerely appreciate everybody taking the time to watch the live stream today. Thank you for all the new members of the traders community. Welcome to the channel. I am so grateful to have everybody here. And we're going to continue to rock this situation. If I want to leave you with any last words, right, take this to the grave. As a community, we can do so, so much more than we can do by ourselves, right? I, I want to 100% double down on that. The most beautiful and freaking awesome thing that has come out of this whole situation is we have really come together without any sort of uh, <laughs> any any sort of political background or age or gender or, or racial uh, discretions. And I think that is amazing. And I really want to double down on that and and show you guys how cool that is. And I am so proud of the community and the, the people coming together to do that. So thank you so much. Uh, thank you for the, the last couple of people that have sent me a super chat. You guys absolutely rock. Uh, Jake Murphy, Nathan, Elaine, Chris, San, uh, San Marchio, uh, Chino, Jonathan, William. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, now I have to read this. 4 a.m. in China now. Going to get some shut eyes. Matt's still holding by with y'all at AMC and GME. Thanks, Trey, and best of luck to you all. Cheers. Man, you guys all rock. I do appreciate you so, so much. 
Dirty graphics on Twitter. The logo is yours, the key man. I just need a place uh, end it. I also made you a banner. DM me on Twitter. I am going to add you on Twitter right now, my friend. I'm definitely, definitely going to do that. I appreciate that so, so much. So doing that right now, I'm going to send you a quick uh, message. Dirty graphics. Found you. It's Trey. We'll chat, my friend. Thank you so much. Brock Baller, thank you as well. And uh, Peter, go to more section under account. We'll see stock lending income program. More section. Under settings? More. More section. About. Do 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 do. I'm probably just so stupid. <laughs> All right. Settings. General. Trade. Maybe this is it. Account and security. More. Uh, this is on the phone app. Okay, I'll do that on the phone app, Peter. Thank you very much. I do appreciate that. One last wrap up on AMC before we do wrap up this video. Currently trading at $8.93. We did just break underneath $9. I will continue to hold strong. I hope you guys will all do the same. This is what we're going to have wrapped up today for the video. And I want to double down on what everybody's saying here. Disable them from being able to borrow your stock on Webull, please. As Peter said, Go to more section under account. You will see the stock lending income program. Do this on the phone app and you will be able to turn this off. That is what I have for the live stream today, guys. Thank you for tuning in. That is what I'm going to have for the video. So I'll see you all in the next one and take it easy. Peace.